That's a good one. Green is yeah. not my citizen. Oh, hey. That was a good one. Oh, I could have been bad. <laughs> oh, good. I mean, I, did, I, I got the thumbs up, motherfuckers. So. Yeah, but then we started, yeah. then the subject changed and then like, just... suddenly, and it just, we forgot. <laughs> we, we thumbs up. It's Hello, live yeah. in front of everyone. Would you like to explain this Snapchat you sent me? Oh. And there was is it his cock? <laughs> oh, is it his fucking... Is it, is it, is it, is weird, it a cannon? Like... It's a fairy cat toy, and it's oh. like, why, this, why does this look? Why does this look so sus? It's because it's one of those like blind box, like cuddly toy things, right? And it just has a cat tail poking out of it, and it's a cylinder tube with a cat tail, and it's the fucking most sus thing I've ever seen in my life. Weird. Yo, yo buy it from B and M. not a fairy, by the way. <laughs> All right, I'm so evening, everybody. Welcome to Dungeon Select. We're back. We're down to So Kohler, and oh, she's no longer with us. His uh, period we're died. Oh no, his he period died. as a guest has uh, come to an end. But uh, oh, I, I think I can no speak for all of us, us when we uh, when I say that we had a blast having OSG on for uh, the last mm. leg of the adventure. Um, no one asked Ethan. Uh, anyway, um. It does. Hey. Guess what? What up? Shut the fuck up. Uh, it'd be a very quiet and short D&D &D session if I shut up, wouldn't it? <laughs> it's fine. We can just role play amongst ourselves for the next four hours. <laughs> oh, because we're going to touch. What yeah, time? What time is it? Mm -hmm. well, shut up. <laughs> we'll have to do Why it. It'll be a D&D &D &D session Hold on. in real time. Ringing? Give me a second. I'm the same thing. No I worries. That. Don't you do It'll be a real-time session where it's just four hours of the character's time and this is, just This us is the coup. Talking. We're gonna we're gonna install a different DM. <laughs> so it, it's a travel journey and we're just like this for four hours. <laughs> That's cool, Bob. You, re you really think Brooks cool. could sit silently for four hours of travel? Yeah, I mean Or probably. Kess. Well, yeah, Kess sat silently for five days of travel, so Yeah, but that was like oh! that was outside of her control. <laughs> Okay, uh, fucking, <laughs> I got the food you ordered, and I'm like, I don't think so, because I didn't order anything, but I, <laughs> so I told him. You should have been like, oh, great, thanks, so just take no, it. No, 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 I'm, I'm listen. Kidding. I don't know. Sorry, imagine imagine being arbitrary. on the other end of that, though, like, they're like, yeah, your food's delivered, you're like, is it? Yeah, <laughs> you're like, what? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I just told him, like, I, I didn't order anything, man, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. All right, sorry, uh, anyway, uh, we're here. Uh, last Thursday, we had a uh, lot of fun doing our charity Witcher one-shot, which kind of turned out into just kind of be like a tradition now. We're just going to do this, bring this back every uh, charity select, I think. We'll bring the Witchers back for another bout. Uh, because we've already kind of set up what our group Witchers is going to do next. So, you know, see you in half a year for the next charity select. Um, <clears throat> speaking of charity select, uh, a few more days, and then our uh, run of uh, this edition of... Uh, Charity Select will be coming to an end. Uh, we are on the way to fifteen hundred pounds raise. That would be a really cool, really good end goal, I think, to try and achieve over the last over the last couple days. Uh, Specifically, we're be doing... our next incentive at thirteen hundred is D and D related because Dutch will we're run a, a Christmas, Christmas one shot, one -shot yeah. if we hit thirteen hundred, and that's less than thirty pounds away. Chiro, so kill want... Santa. Sorry, what? Kill I mean, Santa. you already kind of did in campaign one. Remember that fucking Krampus. Chris. That's, not That's not Samantha. No, it's like some fake <laughs> version North of Pole. fucked up Santa. Um, but yeah, so if you want to make that that happen, there you go. Exchange my charity. It's right there. Uh, this Tuesday, Tuesday, yes, Tuesday, we're going to be doing a big closing off charity select uh, sesh with a bunch of gamers doing some Among Us, and we have some incentives tied into that as well Hell to kind yeah. of promote people to chip in a little more. Uh, the way the players are going to be determined for the Christmas one shot, by the way, is just going to be, I'm just going to look through the donator list and just kind of, I'm just going to roll the dice and see who gets first dibs and then I'll reach out to those people. Uh, and there'll probably be a, a face or two from the DS crew as well. Uh, present for that. Other than that, uh, I've been playing a lot of God of War and that game is fucking sick and that's going to be my fucking stream know, schedule so for the good. next like week or so. It's so good, right, Laura? Oh my God. It's so good. Oh, <laughs> it's so much sick. Um... First ten minutes can go fuck off. That was that was uncalled for. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> that was cheap, cheap way to make me cry in the yeah, first ten yeah, minutes yeah, of a I, game. I, I Didn't fully, appreciate it. I fully it. agree. I fully agree. 
But are we talking um, like Ori in the Blind Forest level of cheap? Or? No, that was good. That was like setting an emotional story. This one, it's like you didn't need this. This game's already going to be intense. But no, we're just going to go for a real easy a emotional real easy gut tear punch to start off with, that didn't you know? need to happen. I don't want to say it because yeah. it's spoilers. Yeah, but yeah, so, I get that. played it. But it was uh, it's it's so good so far, man. Oh my god, I'm fucking. Yeah, once you got thoroughly, past that, thoroughly enjoying it. <laughs> Uh, the fucking, it's so good. So more of that this week on my channel for sure. And Laura's channel, I'm assuming. Um, any other announcements, Laura? Yeah. Um, well, <laughs> the, the specific Among Us incentives we're going to have, there'll be donation amounts where you can pick the imposter's victims. Like you have to pick who they have to kill. You can force someone to only tell the truth or only lie for one round of a game. You can force the entire group to only tell the truth or only lie for a whole game. There's going to be stuff like that. The only caveat is you cannot directly ask someone, are you an imposter? Because that's lame. That's no fun. That's boring, um, yeah. And also on Thursday, Charity Select will be over, but obviously our incentives that you guys have unlocked don't have to all happen during the month, like the Christmas one shot. So on Thursday, I'm doing the joint incentive I had with Bowdy, where I have to be his eyes and guide him through Sekiro oh, while he wears a blindfold. <laughs> and it's going to be so bad. And I'm so... Like, I'm not even the one playing, but I'm so nervous just because I'm like, his his amount of suffering is directly tied to how well I can instruct, and it's going to be terrible. But that's going to happen at Bowdy's channel on Thursday. Yeah, it will I'll not be on my channel. It was his incentive. Do that spicy pepper thing this week as well, or somewhere next yeah. week. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, Other than that, I don't think we have any specific announcements. Uh, I have one. Go on. Yeah. We have one. Uh, hey, I'm doing well. Oh, yeah. I've, I've actually got a few. Uh, I'm pregnant. <laughs> yeah, more I'm incentives. Pregnant. More no. incentive streams. Um, that's more incentive streams are coming up. Um, obviously, Ethan and I have got Hades randomizer to do. Uh, that's this Wednesday, um, right? At, at, fucking, at some point, yeah. Oh, I okay. believe this Wednesday. Um, yes, this Wednesday. Yes, this is Wednesday. <laughs> I can't remember what we said, dude. That was like three DMs ago. I, I legit remember. might be barely streaming uh, at all this week, other than Among Us, just so nice. I can watch all these incentive streams. Because Bounties is also, Thursday, yours will be Wednesday. <laughs> we've also got the incentive of a four-way map randomizer. Oh, we have said for Pokemon, we haven't set a full date, and I haven't decided a game yet. But we yeah, so it's gonna be you two plus Bounty plus Soko. Soko, yep, yeah, Damn. yeah. Uh, it's we gonna be either some. Emerald or Fire Red Leaf Green. Emerald Park. Um, I'm gonna be doing my first stream with a charity <laughs> on Monday. Wow! <laughs> squeeze one in there. I'm gonna right squeeze one in there. <laughs> Technically, you're doing the Among Us one on Tuesday, so and, you're not streaming uh, it. You're playing in it. So. Yeah, I mean, I probably I might stream my end maybe, but no, I'm I'm doing my first. Stream. I don't know actually what I'm fucking doing because I have to remember how anything works on how to stream. But it'll probably be some bullshit game. Let's be real, it's me. It won't be Pokemon though because I'm gonna be playing so fucking much. It might be Hades practice. Oh, okay. It might, it might be idea. from Hades practice. Oh, so, never a bad stream when it's a Hades stream. My last so, stream was Hades practice, like a nerd. Yeah, so I think I might, I might get onto that. But yeah, that's my, that's my announcements. Um, any more the announcements? Bell, did you say you had one? Oh. Yeah. I have an announcement. Uh, the YouTube is getting updated. Let's go! Uh, slowly but steadily. I'm currently up to episode 40 of nice. the main campaign. Alright. So those will be... Oh, slowing I've through the rest of the got week my hard as well. so I can start downloading the fucking audio as well. Yeah, my... <laughs> I was gonna be so much further ahead, but my hard drive got full, so I had That's, to deal with that. That happens. That took a couple of days. Yeah, I mean, it's but, not like we're doing yeah. four-hour fucking videos at a time. That is just, you know, a no. lot, lot, of, lot of gigabytes. It's not, yeah, there are a lot of gigabytes. What you're saying <laughs> is we should get Bell portable hard drives for Christmas. Please, yes. I would love hard drives. <laughs> Buy me hard drives. Straight up. It's going to be like a shelf setup. behind her, like above her bed, with just like hard drives. Well, it's going to be like old school rocks. CD racks, but it'll just be hard drives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, my hard drives. Just, just, a fucking, just, just a server rack. <laughs> just get hard server drives, rack. baby. Jesus Christ. Just server rack. I, I, actually, I actually have a server rack of that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There we go, Christmas server. I need, I need a home server. That's what I need. I need a server. So but for your own personal use. My own personal no, just, server. Just like, just like a DS like shared like server that we all can, can all connect to and just fucking chuck all our shit there, you know what I mean? Right? Oh, oh God, fuck. Just, be yeah. totally maybe yeah, that, maybe one know. day, guys. <clears throat> um, Please buy me a server. Anyway, anyway, the YouTube is getting updated. Hell yeah. I'll put links in the Discord at some point. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Anyone else? Oh, that's it. I have one. Go on. Thursday. 
Uh, I think it's going to be daytime. It might be evening if plans change, but I think it's going to be daytime. I'm going to do another donation incentive. Oh, I'm doing my fucking cozy stream, baby. Yo. So, so then Bowdy and I can come hide there when we need to de-stress. We'll come hide in the cozy stream after Sekiro. So <laughs> are you going to be wearing your fucking, like, your, like, your, like, gown or whatever the fuck that shit's called. My dressing yeah. gown? Yes. Robe. You have to be cozy. I, you know what? I that was going to be like, I was going to be like comfy hoodie and f depends how warm it is it might be a dressing gown it might be me wrapped in like a fuzzy blanket i'm gonna make some gown, hot chocolate red one. can we We're recreate the like crusting. people blanket emotes but with you yes absolutely nice the oh, only yeah. problem is that it's a black blanket so i'll have to like i'll have to like really like brighten up my room for the contrast okay hell yeah oh, Good no, shit. i'll get a blanket from downstairs we've got other colors downstairs <laughs> I will peepo blanket and play Animal Crossing. Nice. Hell yeah, dude. Okay. Uh, before we uh, dive into today's session, what you got to snack oh. on today, Koiwa? Hold I on. Got... Oh, so... do you have an announcement as well, Duke? Oh, do you have an announcement? Oh. I got new beard rings, but they're way smaller than I thought, so I'm just going to have to wear them both in little bunches. <laughs> That's it, really. Yeah. They're little helmets. It's, it's they're really very... fucking it looks, cool. It's a good look. It looks cool. They, they are little helmets. I would show you, but I mean, it's a fucking shitty webcam. But they're <laughs> adorable, and they are beautifully it's handcrafted, beautiful. and they are like this <laughs> fucking big, so... Should maybe, uh, I don't know, know, like, when, when we're done, listening. fucking take a picture of them and put them in the Discord or something. Yeah. Oh, I took a snapshot of one ages ago, but it's a snapshot, so... Have it. You didn't fucking save it. We'll do it again. No. Dickhead. <laughs> Alright, Koiba, what you got for snacks? In today's uh, edition, I don't know. Uh, edition of uh, Koiba's uh, Snack Corner. We have Bari oh, Pizza and Blankets, so. Crinkle mm. Cut Crisps, and you know, I'm going back to my roots a little bit here. Oh no. Oh, no. So we've got, so we got a Swiss roll. <laughs> oh. It's kind of like cake, but not really. Okay, okay. The problem is, is that a Swiss roll is a cake you could eat with your hands. Yeah, yeah. so here's the thing. <laughs> with my ass. <laughs> yeah. What's he going to eat it with? Oh, just bare hands, baby. Cake fork? Oh. No. no cake fork? Can we all oh, no. unanimously agree to buy Koiba just everyone buys in cake forks for Christmas? Please, I'm dude. putting... I'm putting beer rings in the dice channel because it seems the most appropriate channel in the DS Discord. Oh, are we going to get a little teaser of just Koiba just stuffing his face with the fucking Swiss roll? Hold on. Yeah, we are, dude. <laughs> nice, nice. Straight nice. up. Oh, Swiss me, daddy. <laughs> That's a baby bite, dude. Come on now. You, you can and the rapper's it. fucking stuck on it, dickhead. I'm trying if to you're not, if you're not deep throating your Swiss roll, are you even eating your Swiss roll? Are you even eating one? Yeah, exactly, exactly. The fucking... yeah. Okay, oh, well, well, there we go. Figures that out. Uh, <laughs> Last we left off. Ah! There it is. It. Last we left it. off, the party returned to Eldilon and uh, had a bit of a relaxing time after they freed Kess from being uh, petrified, went to went to the the carafe, had a had a nice expensive bath with a massage and everything that you that you could possibly got got their clothes dry cleaned everything like the full package, and uh, celebrated a small little birthday party at the uh, friendly giant uh, pleasure's birthday and uh, it was a lot of fun. Happy ending included. If they so desired, they probably, Abby. Um, <laughs> I didn't think it was that kind of establishment, but okay. <laughs> hey, the, the money, money speaks, you know. Um, the party then had a meeting with uh, Father Ackle and the rest of the council at General Kron's house, where they learned that General Kron, after a visit from the Empress, was relieved of her duties, and uh, she didn't take it very well. Uh, but they were also told that uh, due to some hidden magic within the tattoos that all the Nightweb members are forced to get. Um, they could use an item hidden somewhere in the Whispering Woods in, um, in Segalia, <laughs> on the continent of Keldalar, the Empire, uh, that the Primus Dalashtari can try and use this item to create something that would function as um, a night web detector. Or basically, even if they have their tattoo covered up or 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 or, or uh, hidden by magical means, she would be able to still, with with the item that she wants to make, tell if someone is part of the night webs. That could be the start of somewhat having a bit of a a one up on them. Um, 
which is something that the party could potentially follow through with if they so desired. Um, they can't get to the airport. They were also told that everyone with this tattoo uh, was being scried on pretty much 24-7, and General Kron did take the necessary precautions to make sure that the meeting that they had wasn't scried upon by, you know, lacing her house uh, with, uh, you know, what is it, like lead or lead, Warding. any materials that would uh, stop scrying from being, ha being possible. <clears throat> and the party then uh, just kind of spent the rest of their evening, went to bed, and then the next morning said goodbye to Kai as he is now captain of the Porcupine as uh, both Captain Fiera and Celesti are sp staying behind in Aldilon, uh, doing their own individual things. Uh, you got your rewards, some magic items, and some extra money uh, for a job well done. And Elazarin received some mail, some, some post, uh, telling him to meet with someone at the Prospector's Guild over or under, uh, which I said was in the Crafters Union, but I lied. It's actually on like the more the bigger guild square. It's uh, directly across from the Cartography Guild, where uh, you guys okay. have already uh, gone to a couple times. Oh, my um, boy Quirky. Shout out. Um, <laughs> and with that, you are at the docks at this point, I believe, if I remember correctly. Mm. Uh, just said your goodbyes to Kai, just got your reward, and you still have pretty much the entire afternoon and evening on today's ninth of Septimon to uh, do with as you, as you please. So, what is it that you would like to do first? Okay, well, I Jax suppose... has stuff to sell too, so yeah. Jax will probably either dip out unless accompanied to go. I'm going to sell go a do some shopping. Stuff. Anyone wants to come? I actually have. I'll go shopping few... with Jax. Actually, why not? I have a few bits that I I want to grab for something later. Um, before we do that, should we all maybe have a conversation about whether or not we're gonna take up this job offer? No, we can do that later. <laughs> yeah, I need everyone, to... everyone, go shopping, and then we can talk about it later. I need to think on it. I think that's fair. So, uh... I'm going to I'm going for a walk around the city. Probably. <clears throat> Stop off at the temple. Let's, um, before we uh, dive into stuff like that, let's just have a little bit of time to run some errands, and then possibly tonight, when we meet up, we can talk about it. I'll sign to Kess to ask the group what meeting place they want for later, so we don't get confused. Dagon wants to know where we'll meet at the end of the day. We... I... Does anyone else have plans this evening? No. Ooh. Okay. I... Oh, well, yeah, no, no, not at all. <laughs> May I suggest that for once we have like a sort of outskirts of the city evening? Oh, it's actually funny you should say that because I was about to say I'd like to get outside of the walls of the city for a while. I haven't. Well, I mean, if we so if we weeks. go down to the docks and then, I mean, I suppose we could head east or west. Head east, go down to the docks and head east because there's a nice stretch of beach a bit further on, and we can all just have a bit of time away from everything. We know there's no one listening in. We know that, you know, it'll be good for Davy and it'll be good for Lazar and it'll it'll be a nice time. I just draw a picture of the the a tree with a question mark in my journal and hold it up and point at Davian because Davian said forest, also, you said beach. I yes, I point at the <laughs> Davian, tree word, uh, wordlessly. Davian, while uh, everyone else goes shopping, can I come with you to the woods for a bit? Oh, I was talking about later, but we can go now if you want. Yeah, I mean, I mean, everyone else is going shopping and stuff. Yeah, I got nothing. To oh, There's the actually then, just for information. If you go to the docks and you go to that little beach side, there is a city gate, like the eastern gate of the city is like close to it, and that does lead out to some woods and stuff. If people okay. want to. So there is the. I no. will. That is there. Well, if you lot want to fuck off to the forest, we could all meet up at the the eastern gate on the. Yeah. On the beach. Yeah, alright. Cool. Should we say. Sundown? Yeah. Sounds good to me. It's in your mouth. 
Drumstick! Mm. I'm shit lolly, but it's like oh, sticky as fuck. Melty. Yeah, what the hell? It's, it's a bit past it. Has yeah. it been on the radiator? No. What the fuck puts a drumstick lolly on the radiator, dude? <laughs> Psychopaths. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Idiots. Psychopaths. <laughs> Freaks. All right, so uh, Jax is going to go ahead towards the uh, trade district to uh, do some shopping, do some selling. Is I also have him? some st me because I have some stuff to sell, and Jax can Books help as well. Me. I need to buy things for this evening. Okay, uh, so we'll let those three. Uh, you know, the party kind of splits up there. Uh, those three head to the trade district, and you'll probably be heading to the magic shop for the majority of your uh, shenanigans, which is in this city called. Is this the, the bucket the portal? portal I it's think. Portal, surely, I think. Right. Pocket dimension. Pocket dimension. Pocket dimension. Pocket dimension. Right. Pocket portal. Something else. Yeah. Um, so but you head there, you and um, one of the uh, half elven uh, clerks immediately approaches you. Just, Good afternoon. Is there anything I can do uh, you for? Any any items you would wish to look at? Maybe um, do a little bit of uh, of, of restocking on on potions. You you look like the well travel type. I reach into my bag and I pull out and I, I pull out five of the siren scales that I got from the battle and hold them out. I see. Hold on. Uh, I suppose these could be useful for us to, uh, to, 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 to make into something else, or perhaps use for some alchemy, um, yes, are you, are you looking to sell, or, 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 or get store credit? I nod at sell. Okay. Five siren nod, skills? Yes. yes, five. Because I have six total, but one of them I've tied to my spear on my little... Like the rope around it that has trophies, basically. So I'm keeping um, one and how selling does, five. How does ten gold for per scale sound? Thumbs up. It's in hands so fifty hands gold. 50 total. gold. Uh, anyone else? I'm um, good. Jax will list off his fucking itinerary. Uh, of, his of, of long shit. list of gems and shit. Uh, <laughs> which came down to what eight eight eighty five value, right? Something like eight sixty five. It's in the chat. Can somebody look for me real quick? I'm yeah, I'm right scrolling. Now. Okay. It was eight eighty-five. You were eighty-five. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, what is? I'm just gonna make a persuasion check for Jax to see if that's actually what he gets. Mm -hmm. Quickly whip out his character sheets. Um, he, he gets one gold. Yeah. <laughs> he bombs <Could> it. <laughs> he offends the seller. Born didn't select he gets campaign banned from the store. He knocks some shit over. Uh, do, 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 do. I need to deactivate fucking Kai as well. Boop. Oh, he already That sounds he like activated. you just had him killed off. No, he's just you know, he's on break. Um, <laughs> he's, he's on break, guys. <laughs> uh, dip, 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 dip. Jax has a plus two for persuasion. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Jax will uh, be able to get six hundred gold for the entire uh, tally. Oof. Of items. Yikes. So I'm just gonna assume that that's like gonna be okay. It's what he gets for not being here. True. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how about you, sir? Are you looking to uh, peruse some wares? Maybe or do you only have stuff to sell? I am just here for moral support. Alright. So none of you are willing or are looking to buy, it seems? Uh, uh, uh. Mm. Depends. Mm -hmm. How much are you charging for healing potions? Uh, well, it depends on the uh, the size, of course. But for your basic healing potion, you're looking at about thirty-five to forty gold pieces, depending on you know. How much for the the greater healing potions? We'll set you back a little more, I believe. Let me quickly check my uh, my list here, but I believe you're looking at about 200, maybe 250. Not that rich right now. Fuck it, I'll have... I'll have two of the basic ones. You're looking at... Uh, for the basic ones, you're looking at 80 gold for two. I will hand over eight platinum. He hands you two uh, potions of healing. 
And I'm pretty sure I gave someone my ring of obscuring at the end of last session, but I can't remember who. I think you offered Were you talking your about? We were talking yeah. about it, but I don't think anyone. Okay. Uh, yeah, anyone we never decided it. for sure. That's fine. Yeah. I'm... Right. So you still have no it on your person. It. I no fucking wants it. <laughs> I mean, I'll I, I'll take it because I'm nothing that I attune to. Like all my stuff is just like. Usable. You could have like a, tuning, you could so. have like a literally good item though, not that piece of shit. <laughs> but I have I'll, the slots I'll empty give, right now. It's still. I'll give like... it to Dagon as a loner. When Dagon is it in D and D Beyond? Yeah, like it's that just item. Okay, cool. So whenever Dagon has something better, I want it back so I can sell it. But sure. All right, well, uh, it was a pleasure doing business with you, uh, if, that, if that's all, or is there something else you might be looking for? I'm really tempted yeah. to ask if you have anything that explodes, but I don't think it'll be within my price range. Mm. Explosives are a bit expensive, and it's quite rare now that... Uh, the, the export, well, the import, I suppose, from our end, but the export of uh, black powder has uh, slowed down a bit, so explosives are... Getting a little bit more pricey at the moment, but I expect this to not last very long. To perhaps try again later. Sure. No, that's it. Thank you. All right, have a lovely day. And after we leave, I'll just let Brooks and Jax... I'm just going to follow along wherever they feel like going for the day. I have nothing mm -hmm. specific in mind. I okay. actually need Other than maybe go. picking up some food for for the group for dinner later. Like pick up something nice to that maybe would taste good. Roast it over yeah, a campfire I mean, at this or something. Point, it's like, at the trade district, there's a lot of like different stalls and stuff that kind of just set up throughout the day that, that sell right. food and snacks and all that sort of I'm going to pull out like a, a fucking written shopping list oh god and none of it's super expensive dutch so if you want i will just rattle it off it's all food stuff it. uh, yeah, go food for it. and drink it was all food stuff go for it Ooh. it's a <sighs> okay i'm i'm sorry in advance no you're not you so... say it's not a lot and you say you're sorry like which one <laughs> uh, it's not a lot financially it's it's a lot of food mm-hmm uh, I want to find somewhere that sells lemons. Okay. Uh, I'm, okay, I'm just going to list stuff and then tell me if I can't get any of it. Mm -hmm. So lemons, mixed herbs, mm -hmm. salt, pepper seasoning, mm -hmm. uh, some sort of seafood, which I assume would be fairly easy to find, like a selection sort of, of. white fish. Yeah. You, so, live a, you live in a port city, so yeah, yeah. Yeah, we live in a port city, so if I can, I'll get some crab and some cod. Huh? Bearing in mind that, like, with this total, I want to get enough to feed, like, eight people. Okay. Why did you didn't already have crabs? <laughs> You're not there! <laughs> okay, go on. Uh, some beef strips, or... In fact, no. I will get a full joint of beef if I can. Okay. Uh, garlic. Mm -hmm. Butter. <laughs> There's no way Dutch is really writing all this down. I am. Dutch is absolutely writing all That's this crazy. down. That's uh, crazy. Sweet it potatoes. Seems like a bit. Sweet potatoes. Huh? Making a full roast dinner. Uh, bread, preferably whole grain bread, but... He straight up is writing, I hate Ethan, like, 17 <laughs> yeah, times. Genuinely, yeah, like, I'm just, just waiting for Dutch to turn around and be like, yeah, they didn't have any of this thing. Wait, is it fucking... Oh, the, oh, the white no, balance. Oh, I can't no. focus. Oh, no. I can't wait for Dutch to be like, yeah, they didn't They didn't have any... Uh, they didn't have... Uh, hold on, keep going, keep going, speed it up, come on. Peppers. Mm -hmm. uh, some, like, uh, mixed spices. Okay. Cherry tomatoes. Okay. Eggs. Okay. A shovel. I don't know, serve it on a shuffle. No, I'm kidding. Uh, coal or wood. Okay. Uh, and the last one will probably be the hardest to find. Uh, wax paper. Oh, you'll be fine. There's like bookstores and stuff that probably uh, will probably yeah, use yeah. wax paper for um, uh, certain like things. But yeah, they could probably, you can probably get wax paper there. Not like, I understand what you mean with wax paper, but like the butchers here probably won't really sell that because they use it themselves. 
So I'll probably, I mean, probably a bookstore, honestly, would be your best bet. Okay. I, I mean, there's no tinfoil, so. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, that will totally... Run, you can get it all, and that will run you down two, three, three gold, four silver, five silver, seven silver, four I love gold, the seven silver. this game and then still want to add shovel. Five gold, <laughs> five gold, two, eight gold, two, 16 gold. Fucking hell. Uh, 16 gold, six I'm silver. buying expensive ingredients. 17 like... gold and 6 silver. 17. I'll help, 17 uh, gold. I'll help pay for some of it. Can of I also get oh, a God. decent set of, of, like, they don't have to be expensive. I just want, like, a, a set of cooking knives and, like, a chopping board that I can use. Okay, make, make the total 18 gold then. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll give you 5 gold to help pay for some of it. I won't let Dagon give me money. I will let her pay for the fucking chopping board and knives, which is like a gold. Okay, sure. I'll do that. Also, Jax, Soko message said he would like to check the magic shop for shields specifically. I mean, I'll do that when he's Jax, back. As we're, we'll as we're we'll walking around. Like, I'm not going to fucking okay. try yeah, yeah. and think I, about He did say we can do that whenever. Yeah. Okay, cool. Just making sure. Like, selling stuff, that's fine. But, like, if he's actually buying and looking for shit, I'll, I'll wait for Soko yeah. to get back. Like, I'm not going to okay. fucking... Okay. Here and guess. Uh, what time of day is it currently? Afternoon. Like weather wise? Like early afternoon or late afternoon? Uh like like 1 2 p.m. ish. Yeah, because all we did this morning was we got the cool stuff from Vera. Was this our meeting okay. this morning? So it's afternoon Carry, now. Carrying my uh, fucking bags of shopping. I'll help you carry stuff too. <laughs> okay. Uh fuck it. Do we want to check in on Burkito? See if he's got anything fun that we can have for drinks. I'm going to take that as a yes. Yeah, that's a yes. <laughs> Jax, are you, are you coming to see the magic alcohol man? He, <laughs> Jax, bottle of rum in hand, sipping. Yes! <laughs> okay. We're going to go see Burkito. All right, and um, we'll uh, wait with that for a little bit. Uh, yep. The other three. Next. Are you guys up to? Well, those two are foresting. Oh, are you not with those them? Two, yeah. Nope. Okay, then we'll go for uh, Kess and uh, Davian first then. Fucking going through the woods, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, woods. <laughs> okay, that's them done. That's them. <laughs> yeah, I'm really, I mean, do in the woods. They're gonna collect some trees them. and frolic and make a Bonus tree fort. <laughs> Stretching his once dead wings. Oh. I guess his wings. I guess his wings were never dead because he was a lion at the time. But. <laughs> Kaz is just like. Gonna... It's nice being in woods that you don't have to constantly worry if they're gonna kill you. Don't you? I mean, I mean... Are you afraid the trees are gonna, like, stamp you? I've heard of trees that could stamp you. Mm -hmm. Or pick yeah. you up, or throw you, or... I don't know. There they used to be a bunch of them where I lived at, in the Feywild. What? Koiba, what is this? Sorry, what is this? Who pissed in your Kobe lasagna? He spelled something to me, and I took the piss out of him, and now he's angry about it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, sorry. I mean, having spent uh, you know uh, probably a rather disproportionate amount of time in woods, I suppose there's always potential for unpleasant surprises. You never know what sort of snakes or I don't know spiders or whatever. Of, you know, clinging to your shoe or something, but yeah. you know, not to make you yeah. overly paranoid. I'm sure it'll be all right, but just a thought. Are you more afraid of dying now that you actually have? <sighs> uh... <laughs> Weirdly, considering the circumstances in which it happened. Mm, probably less afraid of dying. Really? Yeah, because like, you know, most people just, you know, they die of things a lot more ordinary than the avatar of a god of the sea smashing your body to death, you know? Like, if that's what it took, probably be alright out of you, you know? I mean, it's, it's not the worst way to go, I guess. Uh, no, but 
I just don't see it happening any other any other way more ordinary, you know what I mean? Like, I feel slightly less likely to die, say, in the woods than I probably felt before I died to a giant sea avatar of a god or something. <laughs> <clears throat> well, uh, maybe that's a strange way to think of it, but just you know, I must be pretty hard, right? Like, if you think about it, yeah. I mean, as someone with like quite a short lifespan comparatively, have you thought about the way you'd die before? Uh come pretty close a couple of times before all of this you know before we were whatever running errands on behalf of elemental lords and whatever else um hmm. yeah i guess that is pretty new to you probably falling into a a pitfall or something like the, the well when you get further north on the, this new continent it gets pretty sketchy. Like the, the, there's tribes and and creatures that we've never seen before, and and, and people that we've never made contact with who probably don't want us to very much. And so you don't really know when you're gonna fall in a pitfall or get bitten by some really dangerous thing that's just gonna kill you right away. Like, I don't know. I always I always thought it would be something like that, but yeah, now less so. I don't know. Interesting. Now you do me a favor. What about you? Oh, uh, make a wisdom check. Mm -hmm. a oh wisdom god. Check. Yeah, you. Check. That sounds stressful. Mm -hmm. When Kess stresses you out so much, you have to roll a check uh, or a save. Seven. Wait. Eighteen. Okay. <laughs> I hate that. That's I'm like, no, it didn't even happen oh to god. me. Don't like, no, number one thing any DM can do to stress out his players: ask for random rolls and don't say anything after you get the result. No, it's it's say wisdom on. saving throw. Did <laughs> you? <laughs> did you feel something just now? Uh, a breeze. No. And what of your grave? <laughs> just a shudder or something. All of a sudden. Hmm. What's 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 like? What's what's the saying when someone does feels like a shudder? Like someone's digging up your grave. Someone steps on your grave, right? Oh, okay. Anyway, how do you think you would die? I've never really thought about it. I mean, I'm only a hundred, so I thought it would be a really long time until that would happen. I mean, even when I almost starved to death, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to die right now. Oh, and then I, I got to death. stone. Well, yeah, well... Mm. Uh, make a history check. Okay. What is going on? What is going on? Not when we were together. Because the fuck was the wisdom check about? I thought none of your business. What? It is my business. It's my wisdom check. Your business, David. Did I make it? Seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. You get this, 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 like when you're talking about, you know, death, and you get this brief flashback to something you saw when you were petrified. And oh. I'll let you decide what you instinctively will do as a reaction to it. But you just, the first vision we discussed, mm. top of the cliffside, you just kind of relive that for, for a brief moment when you're talking about death and whatnot. Uh, Cass Nelly like falls on her face. <laughs> it's like stumbles. Yeah. You, uh... You all right? I'd just look at the ground. There's no like roots or like gnarly rocks <laughs> or anything for you to trip over. Just, I mean, oh, I know you're it. clumsy, but I am not clumsy. How dare you? <laughs> then what the fuck was that? Um, I saw um some some things while I was petrified, and I just for a second. Uh, remembered like falling, well, falling, being pushed over a cliff. 
I promise you, we didn't push your petrified body over <laughs> over a cliff. If that's, I'm glad that's not. <laughs> no, that's not what I thought happened. No, because I, th I think if we had, something would have broken off, and we wouldn't have been able to put it back on. So yeah, that's what I would have assumed. Yeah. O otherwise, God knows. I mean, we would have been anchoring the ship with it, or. I don't know. I never thought of that. Yeah, no. Um... Well, what did you see? Other than falling, I mean, is that what? What's the context of the falling? Okay, well, switch check, um... uh, Bell. Okay. Eleven. I don't remember. I, 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 not sure. Just, just remember falling. Well, being pushed and falling. Like this is like it's something that <clears throat> something that really happened to you, or is this just? Um, I think it was just kind of like a false memory. So while you're petrified, <laughs> you were like having visions? Yeah. Not actually memories of your own. Um, I'm not sure. They, they seem like I, I, they felt, it feels familiar, but wrong. Wait, okay, hold on. Hold on. Out, just out of character for a second. I don't remember if I was privy to the conversation where Kess talked about pushing someone off a cliff. Uh, no, I don't think no, you were. That, no. that was just Kess, Kess and Brooks. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Make sure. Um, I mean... I don't know. I've, I, I've had, a, you know, a couple visions of, of my own, but that's a whole, you know, the whole Kasuk thing. I think it's yeah. more relevant. So I have no idea... Where it could be coming from when you're petrified. I mean, what what else? What else were you aware of when you were petrified? Were you aware of like what was going on around you? Because we put you in the vessel and no, I I remember standing in the fight and getting hit by a blast of like purple light. And then it's like a like a dream. I can't quite remember, but I can only remember like the feeling. Right. And then I was awake. Pretty pretty good way to be. To be fair, I mean, I don't think you age. <laughs> just sort of five days, just kind of gone. A bit weird, other than apparently a vision of, I don't know, you being pushed off a cliff. Mm. I'm no interpreter of dreams or anything like that, but I don't know, maybe it was a dream. Maybe, you know, maybe it's an indicator of some kind of apprehension or something, anxiety that you got going on. I don't know. Hmm. I don't... To be fair, given your... Uh, I don't want to say ego. <clears throat> <laughs> but if there was a metaphorical cliff... You know, that you might fall off. I don't know, maybe, uh, don't read into it too much, I'm just talking out my ass at this point, but... Hmm. Know, maybe, maybe being petrified was a bit of a blow. I guess it made me confront the fact that I could die at any moment. Yeah. I've really thought about before. Can't relate. 
I don't know what that feels like. <laughs> oh, like man. Can you believe they fucking ran away? Can you believe that? Who? You, were, you didn't see it. You were turned to stone. What happened? Who ran away? <clears throat> well, Brooks picked you up and fucked off. Really? Diagon was already running, yep. Yeah. Um, I think by the by the time I, you know, it was just me, Elazarin, and Brooks, and I think Celestia was maybe unconscious at that point. Did I say Brooks? I meant Jax. Brooks fucked off. <sighs> me, Elazarin, and Jax. Oh, and Kai. Uh, Kai, who has no obligation to any of us. Well, I suppose he did at the time. Yeah. Hmm. But you would have made it out, maybe. Or been pulverized into gravel. Really moody gravel. <laughs> <laughs> moody gravel? Yeah. Well, I don't think you'd be particularly happy gravel. <laughs> In the next don't. thing said by Divian <laughs> video. Or Divian, not Divian. Jesus. Pea gravel? I don't think you'd be happy gravel. <laughs> I... Hmm. It was... It, like, Brooks picked me up. Yeah. Hmm. And swam through. I suppose you didn't see the... <clears throat> there was this fucking huge... Avatar of Umberly made of water. You, I think you were already turned to stone by that point. Yes. And it blocked the doorway. And uh, Brooks picked up your, you know, stone form and swam through and out the other side. And he's shaking his, he's shaking his head. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Guess the statue was already on the other side. Yeah. It was outside the doorway. Yeah, that's right. She was in the door. Whatever. Well, Davian misremembers. Who cares? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> a lot went on, to be fair, in those, like, the yeah. 12 seconds of time. And then you did like, yeah. some trauma associated with that day. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. It's kind of fucked. Blame him. <laughs> I, I, I swam. I swam through it, and I grabbed Celeste and pulled her out the other side and gave her a bit of healing salve to bring her, you know, from the brink of death. It was very heroic. <laughs> Sounds like it. And I mean, I was blasting the fuck out of this thing as well. I mean, you should have seen it. I was punishing it, really. <laughs> I only died. I mean, but he got... He got fucking smashed. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. As you say that, Ono Back just kind now, of like... Back now, though! just kind of like... <laughs> flying around, just kind of... Kind of, you know, not a care in the world. <laughs> <clears throat> and looking better than ever. Like me. I'm I've got surprised. fiery I eyes now. I, I haven't really made a big deal of it or anything, but my eyes are a little bit cooler than they were. Just a little bit. I can see in the dark now. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, like, Sorry. but like really dark. Like, I'm pretty far. I can float now. And honestly, I think I came out of it a little bit more charming. But, you know, I... I suppose that's subjective. The the trauma of the trauma of death was uh character building. <laughs> yeah, isn't it always? I mean mm. there was a bit of a bit of a development there, right? If you die. Whether you come back or not. Yeah. It has to do something. If you you, you have a pretty unique, well, pantheon of beliefs at this point. <laughs> what do you think would happen if you died? If I died? Yeah. Um, hmm. Uh. Who's taking you in, you know? Who's ushering you off the ferry? and into their domain. I mean... 
Leira is the main god of my people. Given all the tricksy, duplicitous nature of Shadow Elves, but Sahanin is the goddess of death for like elves. So probably her. Or something else entirely to do with being an Agnasi, which is an entirely different part of myself that is very new. Not really. I'm not really sure. I can't. I, I wish I could give you some reassurance because. I, I don't think I had an idea, but I didn't really see what I expected. I know it was only brief, but... Mm. I feel like I was more... in touch with... Sylvanas, if anything, who I haven't even given second thought for probably a decade. <laughs> Very strange. Hmm. It's an interesting question. I'm not sure. There's... I guess I'm pulled in so many different directions that... Right. It's hard to know which one would win. Something to look forward to, I suppose. Figure out who wins. <laughs> uh, souls must oh, be worth something, yeah. right? And um, who's going to get it? Maybe they'll fight over it. They better. Or play dice or something. Mm. First to roll I, doubles gets Kess's soul. Probably I'd rather not. they fought mm. over it than just play dice. Although. Knowing gods, they just have someone else fight for it. Yeah. And given the nature of my gods, they could rig the dice. That would be entirely... But if they're all rigging the dice... Then... Then no one is. No one, no one is. Mm, interesting. I don't mm. know. I haven't really thought about it. Which is weird because of the whole rot thing. I've kind of just been ignoring that, I think. I feel like, you know, Elijah sort of has the luxury of knowing, mm. in a way. Bastard. I don't think... God knows where Jax will end up. Oblivion, probably. Which <laughs> seems worse than... Well, he's been around for long enough, I guess. Nothingness is probably pretty chill after that. Mm. <laughs> Maybe through like 300, right? Yeah. That's not that old. That's pretty old. Imagine, because I'll probably die in like another 50, 60 years. Oof. Right. But then, <laughs> if I spent another 100 years in an afterlife, at what point am I going to be bored? So he's already had 300 years doing his thing. Dies. That's it. I wonder how, what he thinks is going to happen to him when he dies now that he's, like, faced the reality of gods. And death. And death. <laughs> I'm sure that'll be it for him. I, I'm, well, I hope for his sake, because otherwise it can only be bad, really. Because then what, he's going to be one of those people that, like, in his dying moments, turns to, like, Oh, please, let me in. <laughs> let me in. And that's just really sad, isn't it? Just yeah. go out with dignity and stop existing forever. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Poor Jack. <laughs> Poor Jack. <bro. laughs> okay. So as you guys kind of... 
spend some more time talking, relaxing in the woods, going for a little walk. Lovely nature. light conversation and small talk. Exactly. Only, you know. <laughs> Life, wisdom the universe, checks, everything. For whatever reason. What's uh, what's the Lazarin doing? Um, I will head to the temple district. Hmm? Um, is there any? Well, I'll see. Yeah, I'll see if Father Apple's there. But if not, then of like course. any sort of. He's always he basically lives there. He's just always there. And I will um take out the devotee sensor that we recently got. Mm -hmm. I'll just sort of start walking towards him with it, and just be like, um, I don't suppose you know anyone who might, you know, mean to use this uh, as a lender because I might need it in the future. But right now, it's um well. Uh... None of us here, that's for sure, but, uh, why don't you use it? It just looks like it could come in handy. You, you see as Elijah's holding it, he can barely lift the thing. <laughs> very, very much, very much, almost, you know when you got like shopping bags and you like, it occasionally scrapes the floor? Because it's just slightly <laughs> too heavy. Kind of, kind of that vibe going on. He's like, well, just, I need to do some, I think I need to, Brooks to show him how to lift weights. Oh, I <laughs> see. Um, this. Uh, Work out montage for Brooks and Lazarus. I mean, I suppose we, we can just keep it here in case of emergency, and if you ever need it back, come get it, I suppose. Just, yeah, just I, really. I don't want to carry it around with me and lose it. I'd rather it be somewhere where it might, you know. Like, I'll, I probably will take it back. I, I will. It's a loner. All right. I don't want to... Uh, Sorry to burden you with an item, but I... I mean, it's just... It's just, heavy. It's it's heavy. Just lock it okay. up here for safekeeping. It's fine. <laughs> Thank you. I... And you can see that Father Ackle takes it, and he just, like, carries it no a lot more ease than, than, than you do, and he just kind of looks at you. Father perhaps, Ackle, uh, Perhaps training your upper body strength and your arms is not a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, a lot of leg. A lot of mainly leg workout is what I... Yeah, not much, not much on the other body. Said, um, so just, just off meandering on your own. Yeah, I need so time to the think. wisest move given, no, yeah, current climate. No, but at this point, if they haven't gone, not going to make that move already. I think, uh, well, I mean, perhaps they have, don't know about it. Mm, true. I think it'd be unwise to them after recent. They they'll they have ideas that we're making our own moves. They'll probably want to wait and see what's going on. Did you tell Ackle about Valor? Oh. Look at all. Oh no, but I will. Oh. <laughs> oh we Oh, I forgot to say. We rescued Valor. He's um It's good. Um He's fine. Have you heard of him since? <sighs> no, but I He's the type where he'll contact me if he's anything's wrong. Yeah, but given our recent discovery about the nature of the tattoos, that might be something he's unaware of, right? Maybe. I'll, um... I'll go, I'm gonna give it a couple of days. I don't want to, uh... So we'll play our hands, play our cards straight away. Yeah, of course, after... We didn't know the, who's listening on him. The nature of our meeting last night, so potentially we might have somewhat of an upper hand some point it's the beginning of well it's like you like you always say it's, you're not going to get rid of the ideology but at least get rid of ones in charge the ones in charge and you know they rebuild perhaps people getting put in charge will still live by that ideology but different ways you know it's, it's at the end of the day it's like most religions right um it all depends. The way the religion is being practiced all depends on the people in charge. If people in charge call it a religion, organized group, I suppose. Well, the religion is a form of ideology. At the end of the day, you know, there's a lot of common ground between the two, right? And if you have someone that takes their religious beliefs and uses it as an excuse to wage war, but you can also have people that revere a certain the same god and use it to do. Better things. So who knows? Yeah. Well, um... 
We'll have to see. I, I need to think. It's yeah, of course. Lot. Take your time. It's uh, it's a lot. Um, I'm sure you have a lot on your plate, and there's still a lot of trust issues I have regarding mm, the anyone in particular, general. or is that none of my business? If I'm overstepping. Feel free to. I. I'd rather not say, but the council as a whole, I feel like there's more more than one. I don't think, I think there's still a foothold somewhere. You think there's someone in the council? Is... If not someone close to it. Because we, they mean, didn't, we, they we didn't vetted everybody. Um, as soon as we found out about Kron, we, we vetted everyone. Thoroughly. He just sort of leaves it there. I just go, uh, I'm playing paranoid. Um, it's just it's hard. If it's it, hard it to means anything, um, you know, everybody subjected to a zone of truth, and that was the core of our research and our questioning. And well, I'm confident that no one in the council proper is is involved. Perhaps people connected to them. Maybe if we didn't go that far, but at least the people themselves were. You know, we trust them at least. That means a lot. That helps a lot. I say it's hard to know who to trust when anyone could turn against you. But hopefully, if we if we get our hands on that item and the primus does manage to make make some make something out of it, that could help us detect the tattoos, even if they're hidden. And perhaps that could be the start of knowing who to trust and who not to trust. Right. Mm. And they could make it a little make, easier. Mix our lives a little easier. Exactly. Uh, you, um, how long are your, you and your friends going to be around Eldilon, you think? It's a couple of days. All right. If you or any of them need anything from me, just feel free to hop by. It's just no bother at all. I will do. I am um, sorry for putting a lot on you. You, uh, you probably have. A lot on your plate already. Uh, it's honestly, <laughs> things have uh, quieted down ever since you lot uh, helped me with my uh, problem in the basement. It's been rather quiet, actually. Oh, I'm just uh, teaching the younger clerics, uh, the, the, you know, to get in, in, in touch with their magic and, you know, the, the council duties, of course. But, but ever since. The Empress came by and uh, relieved Kron of her duty. It's just kind of been calm, kind of kind of trying to figure out what the hell to do next. Because ideally, the Empress emissary, or well, not ideally, but the Empress emissary is going to have to find a replacement for Kron to fill the fifth seat at the table, and kind of waiting for that to happen, really. There. Is it sort of? Go off on a sidetrack. Is it normal to see uh, visions after or during, like, resurrection? Well, resurrections are by far the, the type of magic that require the most strength, most willpower, and also the most, you know, uh, the strongest bond between caster and their source of magic, so uh, you wouldn't be the first to, have, to, to see some things when they really get, dig that deep in themselves to find the power they need to bring somebody back to life. Where it comes from an unlikely source, though? What do you mean? I don't think I saw Joaquin. I don't know what I saw. Well, I sometimes... Who like Joaquin. You know, visions are visions. You don't necessarily have to see your source of power. It is just that because you're... <sighs> You're using up so much power and, 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 and both, both physically and mentally. It might be easier for some... A lot of the pe visions people see turn out to be memories. You know, perhaps memories of themselves, but they could also be memories of, of people close to them. Uh, it's, it's, it's weird how that um, works, but perhaps you saw something you forgot about, or, or maybe a relative, or your, one of your friends. 
Who knows? This is an interesting study going on about um, memories being more than 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 just things you saw. It, 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 some people claim that memories could be connected, inherited, so to say. Yes. That's an interesting study. I might have to read on that. Yeah, it, it's um, it is. So it's a, it's a theory people have, but there's no real evidence backing it up. But like, well, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. No worries. I um, let's clear my head. No. Just uh, keep it on a swivel though, while clearing it up, just in case. You never know who's watching. <laughs> we'll do. And Try not to uh, out, meander off on your own for too much longer. Ah, <laughs> uh, I head out back to the to where I think uh, Kess and Devin are, and sort of head to the edge of town forest. And... Okay. <clears throat> Father Ackles like, oh, don't, don't wander off on your own, and you just walk off into the woods on your own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, fuck the guy, he's not my dad. <laughs> wow, dude. It's fucked up. No, because he's got all his mental faculties. True. I already, yeah, I, the, I already pulled the, the big I'm out of place card this campaign, I'm not going to do it again. Sure. What Dutch one session later? It's me, your dad. Your dad. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it again. He says. Want to see me do it again? Yeah. Um, There's a few characters you could. Yeah, I know. I'm aware. Don't worry. Played with the idea. Um. <laughs> okay. Father Ackle becomes Father Ackle. Daddy. Daddy Ackle. <laughs> Daddy Ackle. Right. His head um, does do that so. upper core work. Eventually, uh, you know, you Lazarin finds uh, Kess and, and Davian kind of vibing in the woods. Um, and then, you know, the other half of the group makes their way towards the East Gate as well as uh, you all spend a couple of hours just, just doing your thing, hanging out, relaxing. Um, until it's time to, to kind of meet up with each other at the East Gate, I think. Before we meet up. Oh, yeah. What? You were going to go to Burkito, right? I want right? to go see Burkito. True. True. We'll do that first. I forgot about that. Our booze. Important. Mm. I mean, I have quite a lot of booze already. But we need fancy booze. Yeah. Let's see <laughs> if he's got anything exciting in. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, you had to... Sorry? I suppose I should let him try the fruit wine as well. Mm -hmm. Give me a second. Let me whip up the fucking... list of... Alcoholic Fruit beverages. Holder. There we go. Got it. Got it. Got it. We're going to travel to Brew Holder Brewer and Distillery. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, you get there and uh, as you as you open up the door, you can see Brakito, the Minotaur, with his shaved down horns, wearing his, his brown uh, get up with the uh, embroidery of the, um, of the of the of the shop. Slash distillery uh, on his clothing. Uh, he's helping a couple of people. Two two half elves that seem to just be uh, buying some cases of wine, uh, and then promptly leave. And Brakito looks at you all. Good afternoon, Brooks. Good to see you. Is it? It's being polite. <laughs> I assume that's because we have company. Mostly, yes. Plus, uh, you know, company means more people potentially spending money at my shop, so a little bit of uh, lightness seems to be in order. Okay, that's fair. Would you like to do business first or tasting first? Surprise me. I will pull out one of the bottles of the orange and mango fruit wine I made. Looks at it. You didn't label it or anything, right? Just... Nope, it's just a, it's just a like a, an orangey colored liquid. What is this? This is a fruit wine. I'm not gonna tell you what fruits in it. I want to see if you can pick up on it. Takes a sip. It's very sweet, huh? I mean, it's supposed to be. Mm. I didn't necessarily imagine it as something you would drink on its own, but it works, so. You know, this odd, this this, this reminds me a little bit of um, this drink I, I have. It's called uh, Bog Grog. It's like a rum type drink, yeah. but it has a lot of orange juice in it. And it's kind of, uh, it reminds me of that a little bit. It's fruity, very fruity is what I'm trying to say. 
but um, pretty good. It's all right. It's not the best thing I've ever had, but it's also not. I'm not that much of a, a sweet tooth when it comes to my alcoholic beverages. But I can definitely. As he's uh, describing the flavors of that. I just like lick my lips. <laughs> Very much apparent that your uh, feline friend here uh, might have a taste for uh, for that sort of stuff. So there is definitely a you know a customer base for that. So, so you know, you you give me this drink to try. What is it uh, you're after? Uh, I mean, some we're recipe having... or, or or what is this? I mean, we're having a bit of a shindig later, so. Mm -hmm. I did actually want to swing by and buy some alcohol from you. Okay, okay. I think this is the second drink I've bought you now. You brought me that mead, right? Uh, not too long mm -hmm. ago? Yeah, I mean, I actually still have a few bottles of that. But... I've yet to find something that you're super interested in, so we'll see. We'll see. Um... I have a couple of uh, drinks that uh, I've been I've been perfecting. If you don't mind to be a bit of a test subject, I am more than happy to be a bit of a test subject. Okay, okay, okay. Mm, you're looking for something to sip on or something to shot? A bit of both. All right, all right. Um. Let's have a look see here. As far as uh, you know, something to something to sip on. Obviously, we have some ales. Um, there is this one ale that, um, well, it's a strong one. Um, it's 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 very aptly named the Fortnite, as in you know, two weeks. Uh, you would have enough of that, and uh, let's just say that your drunken stupor won't end until at least a couple of days after you begin. You mean hungover assuming. for two weeks? Jesus. <laughs> well, let's just say that um, the person with the shortest drunk from it was drunk for three days straight. So that'll fuck you up. Okay, good to mm -hmm. know. Uh, oh. Yeah. I, 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 I look excited. I take out my, like, speaking journal. Or I was, we should buy some and give it to either a Lazarin or Davian and tell, like, pretend it's regular booze and that we're all drinking the same thing and then just see how long they're wasted for. So I would say give it to Kess, but Kess already acts drunk and that's bad. That's a bad idea. That's evil and I love it. That seems unethical. <laughs> yes, absolutely. As far as shots goes, though, there's one that's very complicated. They call it uh, I, I I named it the Nine Steps, but uh, you can also call it the Niner or uh, Nine Steps of Hell. It's this layered Ew. shot separated into nine parts. It's very hard to get right because if you fuck it How up, then it mixes all together. But um, um, well, <laughs> uh, basically, the Nine Steps also. No, there's nine different things that happen to a person drinking it, right? So it's, it's um, meant to be a bit of a uh, test to see how strong somebody is, you know. Their mental fortitude, I suppose. That sounds... Again, very interesting. Mm -hmm. I don't think we're planning to get completely fucked up this evening, so... All right. Maybe. Well, a true dwarven stout sounds like something you might need. Then it's strong, uh, but you know, if 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 drink if if being consumed, uh, you know, like a normal beings, uh, could, should should do you well. Um, there's also a... uh, Petralia's wine, which is I remember. I think you mentioned you have a, a bit of a, a wine snob in your group, if I remember correctly. I I yeah. nod yes, and I point to a bottle. A, a red wine on the shelf somewhere or on display somewhere. It is, um, well, this is something that, uh, if he's truly, you know, snobby and from a rich background, which I don't know, I don't know, but, um, it's a very expensive wine, but it's served as a single droplet. Does nothing for thirst or getting what? drunk, but the flavor is said to be very concentrated and the lack of drink quantity makes the experience a lot richer. Um, okay. 
It's ordered First by a lot of very pretentious people. So, you know, if your friend fits it, the it bill... Sound, you know. It sounds pretentious as shit. How much mm -hmm. does it cost? <laughs> I don't decide if he's worth that much to me. Ah, but... <laughs> it's a very small vial. Because, again, small droplets. It's like a shot of wine. Is this single Not vial even. more than a gold? Yes. Is it more than five gold? Yes. Is it more than ten gold? <laughs> Seven gold. I, I write again to Brooks, if we are gonna prank him with the Fortnite, the least we could do is like, here's a nice present, because we're sorry. We will get exactly one vial of it, and then never fucking buy it again, because it's a clear fucking trap designed to elicit money out of the stupid, snobbish bastards. But, if he enjoys that sort of thing, then sure. Uh, Any one of you, perhaps, um, you know... It, it, Needs a good night's sleep without really, uh, you know, but, but not really managing to get one. Oh, I'll I'll nod. Yes, because um, I'm thinking of someone. I uh, th th there is something that I like to call the the mandrake mocha. I I, I there's a little bit of coffee in there, but it does it. it, it trust me. Coffee uh, helps you sleep. I look well, a confused animal head tilt. I know. That I understand the look, but it um, it's. Dulls the pain, and uh, you know, if your body feels a little bit achy, it kind of dulls that pain, and it will just as soon as you lie down, close your eyes, lights out. Okay, so I'll I hold up the I'll take two. All right, there are um... two just for two, two just for you, or two because okay, so we'll get two of those. A bottle will serve about f maybe like four servings, it's not very big bottles, but uh, they're two gold a bottle. Okay. Oh, they come oh. in big bottles. They don't come in like single serve. Well, no. Let's just get this a few is, bottles. Uh, this of is, this is not a bar. This is a distillery. So he's he's selling. Okay, then I'll yeah, buy I'll buy one out. bottle of the sleepy thing, the ma mandrake mocha. Be two gold. I okay. will also get one. Okay. Uh, what was the fucking vial of wine shit called? Uh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> it's called fuck. Petralia's wine. Petralia's wine. Mm hmm. Petroleum wine. <laughs> Petroleum jelly. Um, If I remember last time, was it Burkito I bought the premix cocktails from as well? Yes. Okay. You said that the Mandrake bottle was two gold? Yeah. Mm hmm okay. Um, Does he have a specific selection of those, or does he have basically any cocktail I would want? Basically any cocktail you would like. Okay. Fancy. Um, I'm going to pull up my cocktails list. I would like... I mean, do you have this list, right? I've yeah, you I do, I do, I do. List. Uh, I want to get... Let's just say... Three cans of each. Right? So, mm -hmm. I would like to get... Three cans... Of... Uh, three bottles, because they're not cans, but fucking whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll get three cans of Snowdrift. I will get... Are you? Am, am I keeping pr track of prices, or are you? I am. Just in, okay. my, in my mental. That's fine. I will get three cans of Raggedy Lady. Mm -hmm. uh, I will get three cans of uh, Damsel in Distress. Mm -hmm. And if I remember, Dagon really liked the Stormy Sky, so I'll get three of those. I was just taking out my list of my, my not talking journal, my personal journal, and I scroll to the entry that says cocktail ratings. And I did point to Stormy Sky was 6 out of 10, which is one of the higher rated ones on my list. Um, what else do I want? Uh, <laughs> let's have Three Lovers Quarrels. Sounds like some fun RP. Let's go. I'll <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, run you about, about 15 gold worth of booze there. 15 gold. Yep. That's fine. Also, I have a bit of a request for you now that we're on the topic of lovers. Um, what? Well, it, the, 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 
I've been if trying to. If it's a to... wedding, I expect to be. No, best no, 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 no. But I've I've been trying to um, get some more functional drinks going, and uh, well, typically this drink is bought by by uh, you know lovers that have a quarrel and they they don't understand. You know, you're arguing and you're like, I don't understand your point of view. Blah 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 blah. This drink will make it so that you do. Uh, what it does, it's called uh, Lefina's Lusty's Lover Liquid Liquor. Name is still Lefina's Lusty Lover's Liquid sure. Liquor. Uh, this bottle comes in two what? parts, right? Uh, each part what? having a different a... hue of color. Um, one is a bit more blue. One is a bit more 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 greenish. Um, when two people consume the drink within five minutes of each of each other, their minds are swapped for an hour. So what I'm thinking uh, oh. is, oh. So what I'm thinking oh. is, right? It's Say danger. you um. You know, you're the adventurous type, right? Do you ever have to question people and they don't want to give in? Maybe this will help. So do me a favor. The divine minds are swapped, like, like your so, mind controls have, your. Have body. you ever seen? Like, have you ever oh. read that book called The Freakish Friday? <laughs> what? <laughs> One's Freakish Friday. <laughs> yeah, or uh, that's, yeah, like, I guess it's, it's more along the lines of that. Say you, um, you, know, you have to sneak in somewhere. You can just. You know, feed somebody half of that drink, you take the other half, boop, boop, swap, mind swapped, and you can just, you know, you live in their body for an hour, and then you can perhaps sneak in a yeah. place that you're not supposed to go in or something. I'm just trying to think, maybe this could be used for more than just... May you know. I suggest that you well, take that to the Adventurer's Guild rather than... Hold on, I also write a question back to my other journal. But if you're... And if you... Is that really more of just a body swap? Because to understand... Like someone's thought process of mind, you're not actually you wouldn't be controlling their body. You'd just be like in their body, but hearing their thoughts and their. It's more like you're trapped in someone else's it's bit, body. It's a bit of a work for in an progress. hour. Yes, I That's... suppose that is more what it is. I mean, it's a bit of a work in progress, but I feel like that the way it works right now, where you just oh no have control of someone's body. Oh, say no. you know, I feel like it could be useful for adventurers like you in very you know in certain situations well then it should be renamed because if you're controlling their body well, like that I means said, you're also controlling the thoughts pending the name is pending uh, <laughs> in reality this conversation takes twice as long because every time you write, write it all down yeah. it's just right, we'll put the pin in that point? one we'll put the pin in that one no, 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 no. <laughs> no good Jack's good concept bad name is all i, I write <laughs> is jack still with incorrect us yeah probably okay I think this would be really good to cause some mischief and oh also worth having from a tactile usage point of view. Mm -hmm. So how fucking expensive is that shit? Five gold a dose. Fuck me. Mm -hmm. I'll fucking get two, sure. Still trying to make a living here. Yeah, but I'm test subjecting something for you. You'd at least think you could... Ah, fucking fine. I'll get to you. What's it fucking called again? I'm just gonna write mind swap juice. <laughs> Maybe not juice, but it's not bad. I'll write that down. I'm just gonna put... Okay, mind swap alcohol then. Mind swap. Alright, um, you, you ever just, you know, wish you could send out fireballs, but don't have the capabilities to? I just write down, we have a guy for that. Okay, fair enough. I mean, I'm interested. <laughs> no, I'm definitely interested. There's a fire breath ale. Uh, you drink it, and then when you, you know, you get... You, it's very fizzy, but also very hot, and then the fizz eventually makes you burp, and wherever you burp, you know, this fireball will shoot out of your mouth, and you... <laughs> big explosion. How much? And gold shot. Fucking... Fuck, I'll have two of those. about to well. spend all his money today. Yeah. There you go. What's that one called, Dutch? Fire Breaths Ale. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, and while I'm here, and because we're spending so much money, mm -hmm. do you have any, like, cooking cider or cooking wine? Like, you know, like um, a shitty off batch. Yeah, we've got like, some. Like a hogshead sort of vibe. Yeah, I think we can... I'll, I'll toss those in for free, that's fine. Throw it in there. Just a... just a... a bowl of that'll... do. Mm-hmm. So... I'll add some cooking cider as well. Which is probably not a thing to drink with unless you're desperate. Um... One more thing I'd have to show you... For now oh, is... Uh, God. 
He's trying to bankrupt me. Well, there is this drink, you know, you, you, you're aware of ginger ale, right? I am aware of ginger ale. I'm well, you're not aware of this ginger ale because this is, doesn't taste as ginger ale at all. It is just an ale your that ginger. turns your hair ginger. I fucking knew it. <laughs> uh, for a few okay. days. You know, no, if you I ever want one. to pull a prank on somebody, you know. I love that one. How much? Uh, two gold a bottle. Uh, mm, is the novelty going to work? No, because I can do it on people that aren't in the group. I will have three of those. Enough. All right, that's it for uh, the new the new quirky stuff that I've been working on. That's just labeled as ginger ale, right? Like, yeah, it's it's ginger ale with like in in apostrophe. In, in, in oh, quotes. it's gonna be fucked up tonight. That's gonna be fucking hilarious. Okay, uh, I love you. I can drink it and never know. Mm, go fuck yourself. I love you deeply. I stand by what I said. I want to be the best man at your wedding. Uh, I need to go cook. Bye. Yes, I'm. I'm cooking. Didn't ask. I know. Wow. You're a miserable bastard. We'll see I you know. later. Thank you for wow. the money. Appreciate it. Even how much? How much did he come to? Didn't okay. ask. <laughs> how much did it fucking come to? Oh, you weren't keeping track of that. I thought he I, gave you the he, prices per. Yeah, I gave you the prices per. So I figured. No, because I asked for the fucking cans, and I was like, um, "You keep track." Yeah, I thought that was just for that. that. God fucking damn it. <laughs> Let's go right. rewatch the VOD later. And I gave you the prices per, bro. Oh, god damn it. Okay, well, how much was it for the cans? Let us say 15 gold? Yeah. Okay. So. so I spent... uh, I spent... 2 gold on the bottle of Mandrake Mocha. I spent 7 gold on the Petralia's wine. Mm -hmm. so another 50 in all of the cans. Mm -hmm. uh, and then... Two of the mind swaps he said were ten. five each, so that's ten. Yeah. Uh, fire breath. He did. How much did he say fire breath was? Five uh, gold per dose. Five or ten? Don't remember. Yeah, one of them. No, the fireball I ones. It was ten. A, ten a pop because it's like basically ten oh, gold. The fire. fireball was ten. Yeah. Ten gold um, fireball that you can just cast. The ginger ale. He didn't actually say. I don't think. I he did. Also, I think also two okay. gold per. Two gold for the ginger one. Mm-hmm. And then he said he'd throw in the cooking cider. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so 30, 40. Time to go party. 58 gold. There you go. I'll just give this man fucking 50 gold and a platinum piece. <laughs> and I'm now officially. Through the skipped. East Gate. Koiba, I hate you. Plastic. Who is this guy, dude? We, we've got a little bit of prep time, right? <laughs> yeah. Before everyone else gets there. Mm -hmm. We can we can dig the fire pit for cooking yeah. and stuff and make the, so, the oven. We're going to dig a fire pit. We're going to start a fucking yeah. fire up. As you start doing it, you find you do not need to give Daigon instructions. She picks up on what you're doing and just helps out and seems to know exactly what type of thing you're making. Oh. Hell yeah. Uh, okay. So I'm eventually, uh, unless there's something specific you want to do before everyone else arrives, we'll say that you eventually kind of meet up. I'm gonna prep the food. I want to do something before we get oh, back. No. Okay. Oh, oh no. I want to uh, give my Ashu vessel to Davian and disappear into it real quick. Okay. Okay. Hold this. Gone. <laughs> Davian. <laughs> Hold this for oh, me. God. For you. Okay, so you hop in the vessel. Uh, you're at this familiar beach site, and you do see Dashu standing there, kind of with his arms behind his back, just kind of staring into the distance. Hi. Turns around. Hello. It's good to see you. You're all right. You look pensive. Just had the pleasure of speaking to your mother. So how do you think I am? Huh. Yeah. <laughs> About that. Did did it go okay? <laughs> I mean <laughs> Do you have ten years? But it, that no. wasn't an actual question. It, um, <laughs> uh, about as good as I expected it to go. Wait, did you like actually speak to her? Oh yes. Oh no. <laughs> Message received, though, but, um, you know, obviously it came with a lot of uh, accusations my way as well. Some of which I deserved, some of which I didn't, but 
Yeah. We came to a, uh, you know, we came to an understanding. Did you pass on anything for me? Yeah, didn't you give me a letter? No, no, no. I mean, did she give anything back? Um. I no, but it, I gave but... her a way to contact me whenever I gave her the letter, and she didn't read it yet. But you know, obviously, the I fact that she saw me in her in her face took uh, took precedent there. But um. But I gave her a way to communicate with me, so whenever she does read the letter and has something to say, then I'll let you know. Oh, goody. Can't be worse than, can't be worse than what I, you know, the conversation I had with her, so... Mm. Did any of the other elves see that, or...? Of course not. Just... Okay, cool. Didn't I was tempted so. to cause a scene, but I decided against it. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate, appreciate that. You know, let's just say that you get your taste for drama from my end of the family tree. <laughs> <laughs> One question answered. There we go. Take that off the long list. Um, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> besides that, is he, are you good? You're not getting more sick or anything? He'll turn to you and um, you can now see like the, 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 the thing in his neck and it is starting to expand, kind of like going down his neck towards his chest. Uh, I feel better, but, um, you know, it's, uh... Old Pops gave me some medicine to kind of, uh, at least not feel as sick as I look, I suppose. Oh, good. Did he tell you that you've... maybe he's found a cure? I told him not to give me false hope. Okay. I won't either then. No, yeah, well, I, I appreciate you guys looking for me, but I, you know, I don't want to get involved, get my hopes up, to then inevitably potentially get disappointed. I'd rather just assume that it's going to end very soon, and then if it doesn't, uh, big party. Yay! I got turned into rock. I was told, yes. Mm. That wasn't fun. <laughs> uh, these friends of yours, they're good people, but you, you do end up in a lot more uh, life-threatening situations with them than you did without them. Yeah. Probably would have without them anyway. Well, obviously I'm not going to tell you, you know, what you can and cannot do, but uh, do me a favor. Hmm? Be careful, perhaps? I will. I didn't mean to get turned into stone. Turns oh, that, out I'm really I, I, I would assume so. If it turns out that you meant for that to happen, <laughs> we would have had a whole different conversation. Mm. No. Mm. Yeah, it didn't go great. Well, it seems like... You know, you're not stone anymore. No. So... And we did beat her, so that was fun. Pretty good. We did win. So what's next? For you and your mm. uh, troop of brave adventurers? Um, I'm not sure. We're gonna talk about it soon. I do have uh, something that I, that I forgot about that I need to tell you, and this just sprung to mind. The... Mm. the uh, the the community of of, of Triton that that I helped uh, get oh, yeah? get get settled they um they they found a new home and they, they've they've built somewhat of a of a city and uh, they're doing well. Oh, good. They're uh, the doctor lady. I forget her name. Um, very bad with names. But the doctor lady just asked me to pass on uh, her regards. Oh, cool. I'll let the others know. They seem to be all right, and uh, well, so far, no Estesia to try and uh, get back at them, so... Yeah. But I get a sense that given your last adventure, he may have been a bit preoccupied. Yeah. Apparently he got mad, or, or like, is with Umberly now? Yeah, I've been told that there's some connections there. Um, yeah. Me and the other, uh, you know, elementals are still doing our side of things, and... Uh, well, let's just say that this unusual team-up has definitely uh, been uh, talked about. 
Mm. I assumed as much. I... Yeah, if anything comes up that we need you for, I'll uh, let you know. I, I believe one of your friends, or maybe some of your friends, have, have gotten a little more information, but... Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll let you know if uh, anything comes up. Okay. Well, I better go. And he approaches you and gives you a hug. Don't worry about me, okay? I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna listen to that. Okay. Bye! <laughs> okay. Did you pop back out the vessel? <laughs> nice. Give her the vessel back, of course. And, uh, you guys head on to the beach, and, uh, you, you will approach seeing the other half of the group, you know, busy. Jax has a bottle of rum that he's sipping on while sitting on the beach. Uh, <laughs> And uh, Brooks and Daigon are, are getting, you know, we're doing doing food stuff. Um, and you three uh, just kind of approach and uh, all you 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 all meet up with each other. Uh, well, that's going on. Is there anything you guys would like to do or discuss? Brooks, what are you doing? What's what's happening food wise? You're gonna walk us through the entire cooking process and make us all hungry. Uh I, I mean, I wasn't going to walk us through the entire cooking process. I was just going to do a very simplified, this is what we're having. Yes. I'm assuming that Daigon's helping, since yep, she Pass seems interested. Um, it's probably 80% done, but if you want to help when you get there, sure. You can yeah, help with the plating doing... and the fancifying. Yeah, Pass is doing basically nothing, but <laughs> feels like she's helping, so she's happy. Yes, is supervising. She occasionally takes like, some spices and sprinkles in a little bit and like things to be like, I'm... I'm helping. <laughs> I am now a chef. <laughs> a diplomatically immune chef. Chef. <laughs> <laughs> diplomatically immune to food hygiene regulations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I am going to make... Uh, so, we're going to start with fish. Uh, I will ask Diagon if Diagon has ever cooked fish before. Uh, I say no, and I point to, like, the meat and the vegetables. Okay. Uh, I'll probably get Dagon to prep the veggies, but I will also, I will, if she seems interested, I will go, Brooks will go to the specific effort of showing Dagon how he's preparing the fish. And in doing, while you're doing that, I'll also, because it's only like two words, while we were preparing the thing, um, I'll teach you the sign language words for meat, vegetables, and fish. Meat, vegetables, fish, okay. Yeah. He now knows sex meat. <laughs> I, I, I also know how to say dick fish. Dick fish. <laughs> the vocabulary is uh, expanded. Fish dicks. <laughs> so, and gonna, ass vegetables. Like, when I say that Brooks is being a pretentious bitch. Isn't it 80 uh, always? Yeah, so <laughs> the crab one with some of the potatoes is going to get made into like a, like crab cakes. Uh, the... White fish, which I assume is cod, but is whatever yeah. white fish we could get, is going to be uh, lemon and herb. Uh, the beef is going to get cut into like very thin, like like Chinese style strips, like for a hot uh, pot or something. Yeah, like a hot yeah. pot, like strips with garlic butter and peppercorns. Uh, the sweet potatoes are going to get um, baked, uh, like split open, uh, spices put in. Uh, Bread's going to get warmed up, and then uh, on the off chance that someone has a change of heart or just wants something that's not meat, uh, there's going to be a pan that's like... Uh, grilled veggies. It's So what it is, is it's grilled peppers and grilled cherry tomatoes sprinkled on top of, like, eggs that are not really fried because they're... they're... Like frittata. frittata. Like, like, yeah. like, yeah, basically. Yeah. I had frittata for dinner. It was like a, like a grill of pepper <laughs> yeah. and cherry tomato frittata. With a lot of it's going to be wrapped up in the wax paper so that it can be put directly onto the fire. Hell yeah. Sounds fucking uh, delicious. I will make a roll if Mr. DM would like, but Brooks is fairly competent at cooking. Yeah, make a... What would that be? Fuck me. Do they get advantage because I'm being sous chef? 
Yeah, but like, what, what skill would that be, dude? Cooking? Survival. survival uh, Person would do survival because yeah. survival, like, I'm actually is a, pretty a mental based skill yeah, of like a, a knowledge of cooking, those, and then we're doing it in like, the woods over an open yeah. like fire. I'm not great so. at survival, you're not in a kitchen. but I'm not awful. Make a survival check with advantage. It's, it's not the most ideal PC, cooking yeah. area. That's a fucking dirty twenty, baby. Nice. Pretty goddamn good. Brooks cooked for a number of years. Hell yeah. As Brooks's cookout will sort of look over at Davian and sort of say, well, this would be more your thing to be cooking over open flame. Well, Brooks, you know, wants to get more fancy with it. If we were going to go out, you know, poach a couple of pheasants or something and skin them and whatever, then yeah, sure. But if we're going to make something Ooh. actually, you know, not just to get by, but something actually <laughs> delicious, it's probably, I'll, I'll leave it to him. And right. while Davian's talking, I pull out the the mandrake mocha bottle and I go over to Kess and tell her, I bought this for you and Davian to share. It only came in big bottles, but I feel like you guys have had, seems like you've looked, you've looked more tired lately because you've been stressed. So he said this will help you sleep. So it's yours to share. But you have to, you have to tell him because I, I can't. Well, yeah, uh, I, I will. <laughs> you just never tell I mean, I know, I know yourself. you don't need, I know you don't need to sleep, but like maybe it would help. Maybe you don't sleep a lot because it, it's hard and you're bad at it. So this this can help. No, or you can just I mean, give it all to Davian if you want. I mean, I I mm, I don't I don't sleep because I'm bad at it. I I always I, thought I, that was why. No, it's more that. It's a very vulnerable state to be in, so it's not really yeah. something we do to ourselves unless we're surrounded by people like you're willing to put your life in the hands of. It's a very vulnerable and like intimate thing in in our in our culture, which I guess is kind of stuck. <clears throat> I can see that. Anyways, it's it's yours to share. Thanks. I don't know what it tastes like. I don't vouch for the taste. <laughs> hmm. Guess I'll find out. Davian! <laughs> Yo! You want to get knocked out? <laughs> oh, Wait. I'm not going to have to fight Dagon again, am I? No. <laughs> right, then, yeah. I have a drink. Right, yeah, right, okay. Apparently it will help you go to sleep. Well, most alcoholic drinks tend to, but yeah, I mean, I could always go for something a little bit more uh, more effective, I suppose. But then she gave she gave it to both of us, but I don't really like to sleep, so you can just have it. Sure. Do you? I don't know. Do you not want you? If you don't want any, you can have the alchemy jug for the night if you like. Oh yeah. And I was just and mayonnaise. <laughs> Ornate jug <laughs> with many spouts and corks. <laughs> balsamic <Funny>. vinegar. <laughs> I don't know if it does balsamic, actually. Just regular. Just malt. Just malt, Just malt vinegar. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> the white vinegar as well, like from mm. the fucking like cleaning white vinegar. Oh. Rice wine. It's actually, oh. it's actually just uh, in white spirit. It's just paint. Fucking white spirit. Just fucking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Metal Pure ethanol. I feel like, Pure ethanol. I feel like it needs to be stated for blind. clarification <laughs> that Brooks is like fancy cooking. is isn't like restaurant fancy. It's, no, it's like, fancy for cooking outside. Yeah, like, it's, it, it's, outside someone, it's someone that like got bored of, of living off like fucking Tatties. cold meat and bread when he was at home. Tatties. <laughs> Brooks sounds Irish is the first thing I go to is potatoes, man. I don't know. <laughs> Whoa. I mean, there's sweet potatoes in it. Tatties so. and bratties. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Whoa, that crazy yeah, fucking like, freak. Like, Brooks is definitely not like a <laughs> like a restaurant trained chef. He's just... <laughs> no, we're all well aware. After no, I'm expecting like, oh, Mission oh, Star. Man... It's fucking raw, you can't! <laughs> right. Man anyway. spent like 50 gold on a shopping list and they made fish cakes. Like, we're... <laughs> Let's well so we just make fish Let's cakes, calm down. Let's lost. chatter a little bit here. Um, so, you lot wow. have your food. 
uh, pretty damn good. Have some drinks. Is there anything you guys would like to do or talk about while you're spending the evening at the beach, having some drinks after having a very nice meal? Oh, yeah. I, I wish Soko was here so I could just lay into him. Straight up. No, just straight up <laughs> ask him where he thinks he's going to go when he dies. Oh, yeah. Because he isn't. No. Brooks, uh, you're a little <laughs> Where bit do you think you're going to go when you Spiritually die? ambiguous. It's happening. What do you think would happen to you when you die? I'll be dead. Well, yeah. Do you think but no. go to, oh, do great. You think, do you think you'll go to the house? I would. Is that. I mean, I don't fucking know. I mean, it's such a complicated system. Like, nobody truly knows where they're going because you've got, like, fucking this deity says you have to do this thing to not go to the hells, and this deity says you have to. And I think such. I think it's just so diluted down from what was originally intended by fucking word of mouth and the fact that, like, for the majority of religions, nobody interacts directly with this fucking invisible force that may or may not exist. We sort of just. Like, like, I'm not, like, Jack's level of, there's no fucking gods, but I think, I think, the, maybe the... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> you are directly descended from something that literally comes from the hells. How are you showing any kind of, uh, doubt here? Are you not, they're real. You are evidence that they're no, real. No, 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 I fully believe that, like, gods and those sorts of beings are real right we have seen evidence of that you know like you know uh, i'm just thinking just, you know it's not being... that so much it's i think that anyone who tells you oh my deity says to do this thing and you'll you'll go to fucking whichever plane instead of the hells how how do they know that that's the right thing to do? That that's what their their god wants, because well, it's just diluted down I, the fucking. I think chain. I think that the whole point is that if you're doing what your god wants you to do, then you'll be rewarded by your god accordingly. That's about it. But how right? do you know but what I mean... they want you to do? It's not them telling you. It's just some fucking dude that got told by some dude that got told by some dude. Well, that to have well been told. I mean, let's 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 I take our fellow lost. Elazrin here, right? Let's take our fellow Elazrin here. He is a he is a a uh, a, a cleric of of okay. a of a deity, and I would say. If I were just a member of the congregation, I'd probably take his word that if I, you know, if he was telling I, me, hey. I, I just think that nobody can necessarily know where they're going because it, a lot, how do you know it didn't get lost in translation? You know? What, Elazarin, like, have you talked to Joaquin yet? No. Yeah. Oh, like, Elazarin, part of your whole thing is like trade and, and fair trade deals, right? Yes, it can but how do you isn't isn't what a fair deal is subjective? Yes. So what you think is worship in the name of your deity might actually not be in. Well, luckily I'm of the disposition where the deity I worship isn't from being devout; it's from necessity. Or oh, well. Okay, but you know what I mean. Like you, you pop your clogs, you Chance. get right to the top, and Joaquin's like actually. You didn't fucking donate X amount of money to... I don't fucking know, and therefore you're not in my good books. Well, then that... Purity of intention defines the morality of our deeds, though, you know? Well, that's that's a conversation I guess I'll have with Fuck Joaquin it. when I get there. Let's simplify it down. Is there a deity of alcohol? Yes. Probably. Yes. There's quite a few. Mm. He's probably the... Or she, or they, he's probably a the deity of... of Drinking and taverns and a breweries lot, and parties lot, or something. A lot, well, a lot like of them to... tend to be uh, of harvest festivals. Tend to be the ones ah, that do alcohol. A, fuck a harvest festival. Is there a deity of just parties? Yes. I mm -hmm. feel like if that was just if that was their only thing, they'd be pretty small. You know, well, like the, a little the demi more. deity of good times. If they Basically. have, if there is, if there is a, the a demi plane of chill vibes and good times for the afterlife, then that's where I'll go. Otherwise, fuck knows. Probably won't matter because I'll be dead anyway. I I would be willing to wager you'd be back in the hells, probably trading. What do you mean back in souls. the hells? Well, you know, not no. I don't mean that like sounds, you've come. No, I'm not saying you've bit... come from there, but I mean like you know, back in the hells, you know, all right. Like I can grave, man. 
I'm just I'm just saying <laughs> you've got Is there a good way to say devil blood? No. No, there's really not. So <laughs> maybe there's you know, maybe there's a place for you down there. I don't think it's all bad, right? I don't know. I've never fucking been. And it's not like I've had fucking great granddad, whichever fucking demon, to pop in and be like, hey, here's a fucking magic lamp. Oh, by the way, there's a nice spot in the hells waiting for you. People the live way, there. By the way, guys, how, how do we feel about going to the uh, elemental plane of air? What the fuck? Well, hey. actually, how do we feel about going to the elemental plane of fire? Well, I mean... actually, how do we feel about going to Segalia first? I mean, we can't go to the elemental plane of air yet, because it's not short. But, Segi, that we needed to... Would you go? It depends for what for, me. Me. for you? For what? For me. I mean, you did a personal favour. I, Yes, I mean, oh. I'd happily go. Yay. Okay, that's one. Who else? Now the plane of fire. I mean, if you agree to come to the plane of fire, I'll go to the plane of air. Absolutely. Right. I, done. I I signed to you. I'm I'm along for the ride. So where, wherever we're going, I have no objections. All of these sound like horrible ideas. So I guess I will have to come to make sure none of you fucking idiots get stabbed or shot or. Yay. Is that more you, you tell me. You tell me one part of this fucking one leg of this journey so far that sounded like a great idea and to be fair elazarin you're restorative and i'm preventative also um my dad said that the trident from the lake are doing great and oh. the the doctor woman passes on her nice who regards was the word he used good for them i mean so they're Mr. doing Shippen. great that's pretty cool Fuck off. Why do we need to go to the elemental plane of fire? Just I gotta go to the city of brass or something to get a tan. I don't what? think you get a tan from fire. I don't know if you can call it a tan. I think you just get cooked. I'm Should sure it's not like all fire, right? <clears throat> I. Mm. I mean, I have a, good I have feeling, a feeling it's like it's ninety percent fire. It right? is known as the elemental plane of fire. Same with the one of air. I don't really know how we're going to get around in that place because surely there's no ground. Surely it's just all air. I'm At least sure we'll be able to breathe. It it, it, there is ground. There is mountains. We have to go to one of them. Uh, we it was it's just going to be really cold. And on the elemental oh, plane of fire, like you know, the it's cold. Warm. So we're going to need coats. <laughs> it's a little bit too warm. You never need a coat. You need a coat where. And there's a city, so clearly there's something going on there. Why do you need to go to the city? Just to see a man about a dog. See a man <laughs> about a dog. Right. Um, this is very specific. A fireman about a, a fire fire dog. A fireman about a fire dog. Yeah. Are we going to find Onu's fire daddy? Onu doesn't come from the... <laughs> I'm going to find uh, Davin's are we, get, fire, are we getting only a twin, but made of fire? That would be fucking sick. That would be really cool. You might have to pet that, though. Just you, I could pet yeah. a fire dog. I, I oh, signed a Kess. Do we know what of these is the most time-consuming? Like, are any of these more... Or not time-consuming, sorry. More high-priority, or, like, need to happen immediately? Sure. Like, other than the, the night webs, we know is a pretty big problem. Mm. At the moment, but are these bigger problems? I, I'm I'm genuinely asking. I'm not trying to imply. I don't know why we're going to any of these places. <laughs> Diagon wants to know about the time sensitivity of these places. <laughs> well, you first. Since you are. Well, I mean, you we said... can't we can't go yet because we need to get some more details. But uh, that one is pretty time sensitive because uh, my dad might die, and I might die. Yeah. See, that's that's a problem. Yes. Yeah, the second part of that, that one... is. The second part of that is a problem. <gasps> well, I would I mean, say... I have to get sick first, and then I might die. But... Plane of fire... Not too there's, pressing. There's all... Not but... too pressing. Yeah. Just we can out. wait till you... We can do, like, the night web thing, but then if Kess starts... If you start coughing, then we change plans. Right, yes, coughing. I, I know, go... I know, I can't tell. But... Dang, it's <laughs> funny. Mean... The universal indicator of yeah. someone dying. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the blood and the, like... the tissues, the universal for on-screen oh. illness. <laughs> yeah. 
You make okay. a good point. While this conversation's happening, I would like to pass out some drinks. Mm -hmm. He's like, I can't do serious conversation without alcohol. <laughs> so, uh... Should we, should we pause for our break here before we get to this? Yeah. Before it sounds like we get into more serious conversation. We can do that. Um, yeah. If we wanted to take our break here and then uh, we'll continue. Just because we're past the two hour mark. With the second half yeah. of this um, campfire you... chat. <laughs> when we yeah, come back, song, can song. you remind me to specify who's getting what alcohol? Uh, yes. Fucking remind yourself. No, I got you. I got you. Um, so we'll be back in a few minutes. We're going to go on our break here, gamers. Thanks so much for being here so far. We appreciate you. And uh, she bit me. It's a reminder to cut off at six tonight. Just a reminder of that. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, could you, you, oh, could you all board someone with mayonnaise or what? honey? What's going on right now? Oh, oh. honey. <laughs> oh, could you all you're board fuck. someone with honey? You're fucked know. up. Bruh. You could, but the well, problem we're back so out again. Here, than a dozen yeah. rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. <laughs> and just honey. The one that I come back to. Uh -huh. um, uh, I mean, Madness. the the alchemist joke can make uh, a gallon of honey. Could you waterboard someone with honey? Yes. Okay. No. Yeah. Next question. No. Can, can it's not waterboarding. It's you are drowning them in honey because when you lift them, when you lift them no. out of the honey, the honey the is new, the, the face. new no. That's not, that's the not how waterboarding works, dude. Oh, please let us know the intricacies of waterboarding, Mr. Expert. Fuck. Okay, first you want them inclined <laughs> at like an angle, tip backwards, and then you have to put a cloth over their face. Yeah. So if you want to waterboard them, you can't use honey. Okay. And do anything through something, the cloth. Yeah, I mean, it would stop air getting through, so they would still not be able to breathe, but then you don't get the lizard brain, I'm fucking dying, pure yeah. terror that actually True. is induced by brain. waterboarding. Lizard brain. It is lizard brain. Lizard brain. No, it is. It, no, it straight up is. That's why waterboarding is the worst, most effective torture ever, because your brain, it, everything ties in, like the incline and everything, your brain thinks you're dying, and you, mm -hmm. you just lose it. Mm -hmm. All right. So you can't use honey. There so, you go, chat, the more you, you know. could use vinegar, though. <laughs> So, there you go. Yeah, anything that would seep through the cloth, I guess, would work. Yeah, that right? is a thin liquid, enough liquid. Any liquid that would seep through, yeah. I yeah. think it's not too viscous. Yes. It's a word. Can I live with honey spell with it? vinegar? Spell viscous? Oh, I think I'm doing it somewhere. V-I-S-C-O-U-S. Nah, it's still like a fucking Q-U-E somewhere. Classic like misspelling of vicious. It, I think it's just a C, right? Yeah, it's just a C. It's still like a W-I-C-I-O-U-S. Okay. So, you're still at the beach. You had your favorite you had some conversations, oh, potential cold. places to go next. And uh, Brooks hands you all a drink. Who are you giving what? Oh, yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to give the Petralia's wine to Elazarin. I'm going to explain the fucking snobbish nature of it. Have I heard of this drink before in my yes. years of snobbery? Yes. Um, You're such a snob. No. Because there's uh -oh. something... Brikito like, oh. made himself. This is new. Oh. This is something he's um It's a new drink for snobs. You can popularize Wait. it. Wait, I have to drink it a drop at a time, did you say? There's oh. not very much in the vial, to be honest, but I see I when, you go... un when you uncap it, yeah. it has like a yeah. little oh, it's cap a... in it that makes it so that you can only get like one drop at a time out An of eyedropper. It. Yeah, pretty oh. much. Oh. I I looked like to go like always shot it, I'm like, oh, hang on. Uh, okay. I will Change give. Choice. I give Diagon a Stormy Sky. Uh, I will. I will give Jax. I'll just give Jax a, a fruit wine. He's um, already finished his rum. Rum. <laughs> be sipping. Yep. I mean, Davian is Davian content with the mocker, or does he want something else? Yeah, sure. I mean. But so if he drinks it too early, he'll just pass out while we're still talking. I'll give Kess a ginger ale. <laughs> hey! Oh, <no>. <laughs> That'll be fun. I want art of that immediately if it works. <laughs> we'll find out. Artists make it happen. <laughs> okay. As you all have your drinks, I'm assuming you just all kind of start drinking. I just, uh, I, yeah, I get like annoyed. I'm trying to think when I'm shaking the bottle like a couple of times. I'm like, eh. the last room. <laughs> this is fucking stupid. This. <laughs> It I'll, is. I'll, unco I'll uncork the expensive white wine and share How it with the lacquer in. White Elaborate. wine? Oh, this thing got worse. No, we bought red. 
Oh, that's true. Dagon bought red wine for you, so. Yeah. Oh. I listen. Because that's all I'm good for. I mean, he got <laughs> his drink. I offered, <laughs> I offered to share my expensive white wine. So. I snubbed you like the dog you are. <laughs> Tess is like pretending to drink, but not actually drinking anything. Cringe. Sorry, man. I feel like because we know, like, if it goes on for a while, and obviously the effect of the ginger ale is not taking place, I'm mm -hmm. just gonna kind of give like a knowing look to Brooks, and <laughs> and just like mm. <laughs> now, now you, I was gonna do this already, and then you were like, I'm gonna give a the one that has an obvious side effect. If you, <laughs> that which means you don't get to fucking pull the. Oh yeah, I'm definitely drunk, guys. Mm. Huh? You could have just said no, Kess. Hmm? You could have just said you didn't want a drink and then I wouldn't have given you a drink. I I'm drinking. You've I just signed. He knows you're not. The drink has an obvious side effect. What? <laughs> it's harmless. Before you panic, it's harmless. Oh, oh yeah, obviously it was harmless. Just dies. <laughs> <laughs> It would have changed your hair color if you were drinking it. So oh, we know okay. you're not. Or the drink's a dud. You could always pretend that the drink's just doesn't work. I guess it's broken. Is this all signed or is Kess speaking verbally? Kess is now saying, oh, I guess it's broken. <laughs> just give me the fucking bottle back. Okay. I, I, I jokingly signed to Kess. I mean, I could test it. <laughs> Wait. You just go fake orange and bloomba. Just it, no, it only changes your hair color. You don't have any hair. That's the joke. That's mm. why I couldn't give it to Jax either. <clears throat> right. Ends. So you have your drinks, or pretend to have your drinks. Anything? Uh... Uh, about this whole trip to Segalia thing. <laughs> the first topic of conversation, I guess, is is this something we want to do? And then after that, I have a follow-up question. Okay. I mean... Sorry, because I quite liked Segalia when we were there. It was nice. Yeah, Segalia was nice. I wouldn't mind going back. I don't see why not. Call me I mean, a paranoid lunatic, but I don't want anything to do with it. <laughs> okay, paranoid lunatic. Thank you. Part of, I mean, it would be really useful to know who's gonna potentially try and kill a Lazarin, so... Yes, but how do we know that they can be trusted? How do we know that this will work? How do we know this will not, and we're not going right into what the Night Webs want? We don't. I, I mean, you I could say made them more powerful. You could say that of literally anything we do. We, we, we already is... walked into one of their plans or, or one of their traps already, and it was fine. But this uh, is a item the sundering. This is getting an item at legend. This isn't uh, like we don't know what their plan is. This is something that is a powerful object, and if we're wrong, well. Would you rather we do it, or would you rather that they decide to ask someone else to do it? Because that's that's the reality of the situation. If we don't do it, they're just going to ask somebody else. I signed a cast to tell a Lazarin, or the Nightwebs figure it out and get it for themselves, and then no one can find out who they are. I will repeat what Dyke said. As long as if we are getting it, we give it to the Nightwebs. We're doing their dirty work for them. Gosh. Just to double check, it was uh, Trenliel that suggested this, right? No. Not Trenliel. Primus. Um, Primus. Primus Delashtari. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. it. Primus Delashtari. Trenliel I mean, was, not, lady. was not present for that conversation, no. I mean, I mean, the first question then is, do you trust former General Kron? Yes. And I also trust that the Nightwaves would have more than one. It's easy to throw someone under the bus so we don't get suspicious anymore. Didn't yeah. we already say that Primus Alistari was, like, okay, though? Because we broke into her building and everything. I'll also sign to Cass. 
you and I, and technically maybe Brooks, but specifically you and I know no one else on the council is a part of the Nightwebs and can <laughs> confirm. But I can't just outright say that. I am just hiding. <laughs> you can ask him to trust us and just say that we're, we're very confident for reasons we can't explain. That's very suspicious. Up to you. So you just see Kes switch from vocalizing to only signing with me. <laughs> you Midway mean, through their signing conversation, just whenever I manage to catch Kes's eye, mm -hmm. I am going to sign... Tits, dick, ash, fish. <laughs> mm. Mm. Wise words. <laughs> Brooks and Diagon are essentially saying that we have enough proof to kind of rule out their primus as someone within the nightwebs. I will trust your judgment then, for mine is clearly skewed. That's how you guessed that was easy. Because. But no, if we are wrong, I will lord it over you like no other. No, because if we're wrong, you'll be dead. Also, that. And then. Where, wherever our spirits may find dead. themselves, know that I'll have the high ground. <laughs> well, I'll probably be reincarnated. I'll probably be dead. Mm. And Fair, we'll I'll be sign. Dead. I'll sign to cast to tell Lazarus. I take full responsibility if we do this as another council member as a night web. I'll take the blade. That's my bad. I will repeat. I'm what that I confident. Said. I just Dagen kind of is very give. Confident. I just sort of give Daigon this sort of look of like, okay, but also like, you're fine, Daigon. <laughs> you know, I am merely joking. I think it's worth doing. I don't necessarily think we need to take an offensive stance towards the Nightwebs, but I think it would be good to have some manner of being able to assess who's in and who's not. And I... Kron helped us with Valor. I don't necessarily believe that they would lead us astray. I trust... I trust Diagon and Kess. Oh, he said it! I, I signed to Kess. It's it's hilarious how it looked physically painful for him to say that. So yeah. I would be inclined to say that this is something we should do at the very least because it's good to have friends in high places. But also because I would like to know who we need to avoid with a Lazarin with us. Well, I'll leave it up to you guys if you want to do this right now. We go back to them a couple of days. Good to have a couple of few days. days rest. Yeah, it's I, been I a, few a days long rest week. Is good. Two weeks for you guys, I guess. So I guess as a group vote, are we on board with going to the Whispering Woods? Yeah. I will like very slowly and sort of semi-reluctantly just give this a small nod. Whisper or not, it'll be nice to spend some time in the woods. So. <laughs> it's not a pleasant place from... Eh. It's not an unpleasant place, it's... I'm assigned to cast climate-wise, it's far nicer than the jungle that we spent a lot of time <laughs> trekking through. Much less sweaty. Oh. Yeah, Brooks just knows that um, it's not unpleasant, but like the people that do live there are very protective over it because of its religious importance. It's probably gonna feel very pukey for me, because apparently it's all fucking hallowed ground or whatever the fuck it is. Oh. They're... So we should treat it more like a fey wood than like a normal wood. Yeah, so, you okay. know, I would hold to fey superstitions of like, don't take shit off the trees, don't yeah. pocket random shit, don't, you know. Leave offerings, don't cut down trees, no, don't damage any of the plants. Try yeah, not yeah, to yeah. walk off the trails if you can avoid Never it. Never walk off the tra trails. Like, I don't think it's... Never. 
malicious, but obviously the people there are protective of it because it has significant meaning to them. Yeah, it's better to abide by Pharaoh. I wouldn't want to go in there without a cleric. Yeah. I wouldn't want to go without a cleric. Sure. Or a ranger. <laughs> As you saw, say that. I wouldn't want to go into any woods just, without a ranger, but just like. Uh, <laughs> So oh, I not guess your that... kind of cleric, Elijah, like the good kind. Mm. Rude. I'm oh. sorry. Why are you standing here now? <laughs> oh. You know what I mean? I'm talking about good in terms of the relative moral spectrum <laughs> of whatever the pantheon of gods is assumed to be and all of that shit. I know you're good at your job. All right. As much as he fucking whines, he's useful to have along. More useful than... Than... More useful than what? Ah, oh, Jax, I don't know. Because he's not here. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good um, recovery. Uh, as you said, Jax, I resent that! <laughs> <laughs> oh. I have you know, I've been tinkering this for years! <laughs> I... So we go to the Whispering Woods first. Yes. I guess that also gives Blue some time to look further into the plant that we need to get from the elemental plane of air. No, it also gives us so... more chance to get warmer clothes if that's where we're going. Yeah. We have to get something a bit more. Yes. It's like, oh, shops not are a bit more open. cold, cold. It's just. Yeah, they got more shops. It depends where we go. I yeah. thought so, we were just going to the Whispering Woods and then I mean, I mean, we were going to get like teleported back. That's okay, true, so actually. this I'm leads to follow-on questions, but I'm pretty sure Dallas Terry mentioned having a faster way there, which yeah. one can only assume to be teleportation. teleportation. But teleportation. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, it's trade shit, so fuck knows. Maybe even an airship, maybe we'll... Yeah. She specifically said she'll teleport us there if we decide mm. to, to go. I don't... Yeah. I didn't write down anything about the return. But <laughs> so I guess part of accepting this would be asking would be ask, asking the Primus how we are expecting to get back. Mm. And then charter my, a ship maybe? I don't know. Well my uh, sailing damn uh, Been there done that? Yeah, that's boring now. More of a We've been pirates. It's one thing for now we are air pirates. It's oh one thing. yes, Pir Airship. pirates of the skies. Airship. Maybe not. It's it's one thing for me and Jax to sail on a pirate ship. It's another thing for me and and Jax to sail on a chartered ship. Given that there's someone with my likeness That's being why framed I'm saying for murders. Pirates of the sky. Only you were someone who was quite good at making himself not look like himself. Mm, this is true. It's not a compliment. You can be whatever you want it to be. So this leads on to my second request, which may have some involvement as to why I have made you all food and bought you all alcohol. Oh, so you're bribing us. <laughs> Basically. I figured that no flattery it. wouldn't work with most of you bribery would. You are wrong. Good <laughs> enough for us. Just asking. If it's feasible with our return plans, and we do not have any other pressing matters, I would like to add a post-traveling stop, but it's a bit of a trek. Two? Are we talking about in Sigalia? Yeah. I would like to go to Stonefall. Why? I would like to go check in on my brother. <gasps> yes! I want to meet your family so badly. I'm in. Wait, did you... I, say, I I agree. I, I, I just signed, I'd make the sign for yes to Brooks and look the enthusiastic agreement with Kess. Not, not a long, not a long stay, mind. Not a long stay. 
Oh, come no. on. Excuse me. You met my dad. Why am I not allowed to meet your dad? That's just my dad's <laughs> like, My dad's a likable person. You're definitely not allowed to meet my dad. You can meet my dad your if dad's you want, but he's a bit boring. He's still <laughs> my he? father, you know. Well, yeah, but I might have actually. Are you also crazy? Hmm. Where's Where's the Lazarus family from again? Uh, Febra um, or the other one? No, no, Febra Kingdom. Goodwin. Or Goodwin, 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 Goodwin. It's one yeah. of the two kingdoms. Goodwin I don't Kingdom, but Febra's footing was. Yeah. But yeah, Goodwin Kingdom. No. I don't think I've ever met a Lazarus dad, but I might have. Hell I, no. I Hell know no. of him. I think yeah, you held know, him for actually, a second, Dutch, and I was like, oh, that's very intimate. Because of <laughs> uh, false persona shit. Oh, a minor lord in like a yeah, like he's not middle nowhere pro province. Like, unless like, Brooks is it like I might have heard the name in passing, or is it like a you've no probably name. fucking seen you've probably seen a shop that sells the wares, and you're like, yeah. oh, who's this dickhead? Oh, it's them. Cool. It's that type oh. of like yeah. You know, if you've ever gone to a jewelers, you'll probably have seen that. It's probably either one of their shops or it's Brooks has never been to a jewelers as Brooks. No. Well, exactly. That's what I'm saying. You you. <laughs> If you've wanted fancy jewelry, you've probably worn some of their stuff. Probably pickpocketed the odd bit here and there. Exactly. Yeah. You've probably worn. If not, it's a different family. But you've, if it was in the kingdoms, you probably. I have to admit, I'm, I'm not against meeting your dad. Like I, my understanding of nobility in fair, in the kingdoms itself is not as adept as probably should be. But I mean, I had everything set up to go to Ferber's footing, and look how that fucking panned out. You're a murderer. We should get that cleared up at some point as well. Actually, that's on the list. Well, I could probably give it, write my dad a letter, and be like, "Hey, you know. <laughs> he's got he's got some sway." I mean, I'm not. Probably good to give him a head. Yeah, he's a too. mayor. It's probably a thing we should deal with if we ever need to go there, and if we don't, then. Yeah. I mean, fucking. Bad, there are people really... on the council here that can vouch that I wasn't there, so. Mm. It should mm. be an easy fix. Yeah, it's That'd just be... a matter of who's doing it because the number of people that know my face and also know that name that I have gone by is. So. Small. Mm. Well, now it's pretty big, I'd assume. Mm -hmm. True. Outside of this group, not that many. No, I, I just I, mean with the whole wanted business, you know. I, I, yeah, a lot okay, of people that know that name tied to your face now. Yeah, well. Anyway. Uh, Dutch. Hello. The Whispering Woods is fucking big, so I assume it depends on which side of the Whispering Woods we're going. Roughly how long travel is it from the Whispering Woods to Stoneport? Seven years. <sighs> Forever. I've, I've got the map up, but we've <gasps> Just got no real rule of thumb with the map, so... It's conveyor belt. It's a conveyor belt of woods. Yeah. Going by roads? Uh... I mean, we'd have to go either to Natil or Cleric's Refuge, and then mm -hmm. if we want to take the main roads, right? Going by roads, <clears throat> depending on how deep into the Whispering Woods you go. It's about a seven to eight day trek from Stonefall to Cleric's Refuge. About a six day trek from Stone... A uh, five day trek from Stonefall to Natil, going by roads. Uh, three days to get to Daramuth. Do I know if there's any like transport that runs along those? I've I've never I don't think Brooks has ever been to yeah, it's like, Cloak's Refuge on a tilt, but he's like, been between like, Stonefall and Aramith. There's like uh cart services, you know, that you can pay and they'll just take you from point A to point B, yeah. You know? How long roughly would they take? Same time. No oh, bollocks. Travel time doesn't go faster when you're on a horse and carriage, it just makes it more comfortable. I mean Mad. Like it's it's a good chunk of time to commit to traveling for me to just 
pop in. But I'm in. <laughs> as long as like, um, depending on if Blue finds out any more about the flower. I mean, yeah, like this and is if a. I get sick, or something like that. Then I'm in. This is a like a side interest. It's obviously secondary to anything important that comes up, but and it also fully depends on how we're getting back. If it's a, like a you have to be here at this time, yeah, then you know shit out of luck. wanted to put it out there that I would like to well, at least make sure feasible yeah why not I mean, we, yeah with um, for one we don't know how soon again you'll really be able to see any of your immediate family I mean if we're spending most of our time across the ocean from Sigalia you know but uh, we also have Jax's magic maps you know we do have that so <laughs> that gives us a little bit of an advantage <laughs> yes i mean there are ways like you don't have to travel by road it's just generally easier and less dangerous but i wouldn't say sigali is necessarily a hostile place mm. it's just your generic fucking wildlife and run-of-the-mill shithead bandits Lots, lots yeah, exotic nice than we uh, what you see here on the roads, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're going to essentially, like, fantasy midlands. There's one thing we know how to deal with. It's uh, bandits and mediocre wildlife, so... Mm. <clears throat> but, yeah. Just, uh, none of you do any weird shit around my family, please. No, I do wonder if any any news of what we've done has made it that far. I you know? probably not. Doubt it. We are also. Uh... We can spread the stories. Yeah, I'll be like, oh yeah, we're the saviors of Street from. They'll be like, fucking where? Who? <laughs> exactly. We defeated the goddess of the seas. And they'll be like, okay, you crazy. What well, well, we did, we defeated right? in that avatar. But... Yeah, I mean. Same difference. This is why we need a bard, because someone's got to get the good word out. I. Yeah, so I'm gonna go. I just don't necessarily want to stay in Stonefall for long. That's okay. fine. We'll stay yeah, as long I mean, as you I want to. Any of as well, There's but... two people I want to see, and then probably a lot of people I don't. <laughs> we'll make sure you definitely get to see the ones you do. We can't say Maybe about not... also the ones you don't. No, I can't say about missing yeah, the ones let's, you don't. Uh, let's not deal with that. <laughs> But if you see I the think... ones you don't, I will fight them. Uh, bad relationship or just people you've pissed off in pubs? Bit of both. Can I fight? Usually, fire is it, is it the same people all the time? You will probably get arrested. I don't care. <laughs> what was your question? I have Matthew? diplomatic community. Let's say, are they uh, usually the same person or similar people? Mm -hmm. I mean, At this point, I think the only place we have From the age that I was old enough to drink, most of the people I had relations with I met at pubs, yes. Classy. This <laughs> <laughs> keeps into one space. Where do you, oh, exactly. Where do you it, at it's the not a massive... It's not a city. It's a town. There is not a lot to do other than work and drink. And each other, apparently. <laughs> There is a lake, though. You'll like it. There's it's a like lake. a very small town. Like, it's not very big. So there's... Mm, everyone there are mums. <laughs> not like everyone that. Everyone there are mums like... is packing around here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is a very different meaning in the context of our conversation. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> right. Anyway. <laughs> As it still gets later on to the evening, so are we camping out tonight, or are we... Back into the city. Actually, I was meant to bring this up earlier. Yeah. Um, would it be worth like renting a house or something in Eldalon? Renting a house? Like a yeah. flat share together? Right. Yeah. I'm... I don't know what the housing market's like in here. I'm I think if at that concept. I think if anyone was gonna have to go on the lease, it'd be the man with the the family credit score. 
or, or uh, lack thereof. <laughs> do you just like borrow <laughs> someone's easy. house? No. Or they own it and then you pay to live in it. That's weird. Yeah, no, I, th I think tavern hopping is okay for now. We'd have to buy our own place, I think. For the them. only reason, the only reason I say so is like I've got fifteen fucking flasks of jungle remedy in my backpack, and we're probably not going to need that for a long time. But I don't really necessarily want to get rid of it, and it seems yeah. like a waste to put it in the bag of holding. So it's like, well, if we had a, you know, if we had a place, I could put it in a cupboard. They signed a guest. Well, then maybe rather than a whole place to live, can't aren't there places that just rent storage, storage. like like. Or like you know, like a, a deposit box or something. It's probably a warehouse. I, I just, don't know what Ida's right talking about, warehouse. but this is the what she's saying. <laughs> here, here are the words that are coming out of our hands. <laughs> uh, uh, well, well, right, but like, spent some time in Eldalon. There's no like, you know, storage locker facility. That's a very it's not a looking store. What the fuck? That's a very what? So there's no, no locking lock store. store. Yeah. Lock and no. So that's, that's a very uh, it's, people just have houses and that's where that's that's their Green storage gang. place. Okay. We don't like I mean, there there are warehouses, but there there will yeah, be yeah, but those some are mainly fucking... used for commercial use, not for yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There will be some dilapidated piece of shit that we can uh, make a project if we really care that much. Mm -hmm. but that is a lot of commitment. We can also just ask members of the council, I suppose, like, hey, we've got this stuff. Do you have somewhere that we can put it real quick? Can you yeah. I signed. House? I signed a cast. There was lots of room in the Primus's basement. That's true. <laughs> looked at oh it. my god! No way. We could oh, just break we... back into the Primus's. Okay, no, 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 not we, where no, I was no, going. no, 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 no. Yeah. We should go to the council. <laughs> we should go Secretly. to the council, and we should say, "Listen, we're going to go get this very valuable artifact for you, and we've already cleaned up a lot of messes along the way. We, sh you should give, give us, us a the flat. house. <laughs> you should give oh, us somewhere to look. Give us a base, a base of operations." At like least subsidize our purchasing. Right, yeah, an office space. Yeah. There's yeah, normally yeah. like a... Oh, very right, high fantasy of you, Elazar. There's normally like a... Offices a exist, fuck you. Like, <laughs> oh, there's normally like a new homeowner, like... People like... Grant, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll go to the council and say, Oh, we're, we're first-time buyers. Can we have 50% on our down payment, please? Exactly. I, have to pay I five put it in my vessel. Realistically, if it's gonna cost us, Ooh, a lot. we can just store stuff in. We could just put stuff in my vessel. I, yeah, but we need. That's a great to idea. It, which and we probably we will do that. Okay, what if we'd had? No, no, no. What if we'd had a remedy for petrification that we'd ask Kess to store in her vessel? Well, okay, we'll we won't put out. anything too important in the vessel, but it's like fifteen vials of jungle remedy. Like, yeah. it's not exactly just fucking like shot them right here, right now. Huh? huh? Just Sorry. shot them right here, right now. Fuck a boof them. Everyone, everyone stick one up their ass. <laughs> See what happens. Stop. I hate it. No. It's probably, it'll probably be great for the hangover. I will make it worse. Love that. Anyway, no, I, I do think that's a great idea. We can put them in the vessel, but we'll pretend we can't do that. And we'll go to the council and say, listen, we've got a bunch of shit that we, if we're going all the way over here, we've got to put it somewhere and like maybe a base of operations would be nice. Office, get a receptionist, you know. And if that fails, we can just break back into the premises basement and store everything there. We're not and just you just, you just, you just see Dagon like sigh and regret and like. I mean, well, I mean, I've, I've given this terrible idea. In their base. We could what? always attempt to leverage the whole. We need somewhere to stay. Wasn't that whole primus basement thing there? in some sort of major government building anyway? Surely they have some room exactly. in there that we could yeah. fucking I'm saying that have. There's yeah. a lot of spaces that probably have a lot of storage areas for people yeah. like us to put it in. And we are government right. operatives with diplomatic immunity at this point, so... Yes. I, this is going Especially around in circles. Me. This is going around in circles. Let's just yes. ask tomorrow. Or I'm just saying, we've got options. All right, we could ask for a house. If they say oh, no, I, we could ask for no. a space. I, if they say I, no, we could ask for some money. If they say I, no... If they say no, we tell them they're fucked. Right. I, I signed a guess that we should just tell the Primus that's one of the conditions of us doing it. Is yeah. we need a space to store some shit. But the... No, 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 no. We got... No, 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 no. I'm, I know I can't hear this, but just... I, so we I start high. We say, we want a mansion. <laughs> if we, we don't, want we want a mansion. And then they'll be like, oh, yeah, we can't give you a mansion. <laughs> no. we'll, give you, we'll give you a condo. Oh, and we're like, hey, we'll take a condo. We'll take a condo, fine. This thing wants to over leverage them so then when they give us what we actually want on the markdown. It doesn't even need yeah. to be like it doesn't even need to be like a fucking deed in our name, just somewhere that we can use. Right. That we won't. All get of this out. is going straight over yeah. my head. 
I I don't know. People pay money to to have paperwork that says that they're the only person that can build on a little bit of land, and then oh now you get now nah, no, this is gonna be as, white noise to a as poor as little Ganassi as, ear holes. That's ludicrous. I can make it up in the country. Anyway. <laughs> so Dutch, uh, after this session, are you going to be writing about the Eldalon property ladder? Yeah, I, I need to... Yeah. I already have. I know no, generally hey! there is like a real estate thing that I have worked on. Yes! Oh, shit. Like, yes! I can't wait Whoa! to be like this new <laughs> goblin <laughs> real estate agent. I've this, got prices, this man, I've got like... I, I, I got this, man, this man is looking at stock market values that don't exist. Oh, a stock market that doesn't he's exist. He's got a ticker on his other monitor right he's, now. He's waiting for the current... He's waiting for the fall. No, these, enough, these house uh, prices are going fucking to the doesn't roof. give you like any base things, but 4E, oh, but out of three. all things, 4E did. 4E did have like That's a... That's the one thing it a did. ...price <laughs> breakdown of like structures and how much it would cost to, to buy Free houses and shit. shit like that. So was great. I, I just use that. Like I have I have the breakdown. Right. I have the, the real estate company nice. exists. Like you, it, it's possible. I love it. It's possible. Anyway. So we go oh. ask about a building tomorrow. Yes. Yeah, when we also say that, yeah, we'll do the thing and then inquire about the specifics of travel and yes. if we could potentially right. delay our return and, you know, that sort of thing. Or, okay. okay, part of me says it might actually be better to ask to go see my family first so we don't have to log around the magical doohickey. Yeah, that's true. Mm, that's, true. that's true. So no, do that first and then go to the Whispering Woods? Yeah, if possible. Let's do that. <laughs> and then we still get a bit of a break before we have to deal with fucking stupid magic shit. I'm sure Jax will enjoy that as well, you know. Jax has yeah. drunk so much, he has fallen asleep. <laughs> oh, wait, uh, which I guess that might answer my question of where we're sleeping tonight. Uh, Jax would actually probably get on with my dad. Jax, I mean, blacksmith, uh, much more talented than me, man who makes things. Jax kind of does this thing where he, like, he's, hug he's, he's like, he has the bottle still in his hand, he's like, <laughs> 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 Does he, he, he like, <laughs> snores like a... Oh God, what's the name of the dog? Like the Churchill dog. Oh, yeah. Like a fucking... 100%. 100%. Well, he's been oh, drinking, you know. I, I tend to oh, snore dog. a lot more when I've drunk. Uh, when I've, when I've drank alcohol. I don't know how that is for anyone else, but... So we'll say that he has a... Uh, he's got a snore going on. Okay. I mean, <laughs> if you wanted to be spiteful, you could just tell him to sleep out here on his yeah. own and will. Or he could wake him up. It depends. What does everyone want to do? Drag him. I think we should probably head inside. Before so we do in. that. Okay. I okay. want to use my little branch to like detect fey and aberrations and celestials and constructs and everything. Surprise an again? aberration watching us the whole time. Huh? Waiting to attack. Rise. What is the range on that again? Fey. The range is... 60 feet. No. Excellent. Okay, you're all good. That he has to ask the range is what terrifies me. Yeah, you're in a big fucking city, dude. There's going to be some shit somewhere. Like, I'll just yeah, make somewhere. sure that the range is. The range at seven miles is like, yeah, you find a fuckload. It's like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> fucking. Yeah. <laughs> so you find out, like, about tiny microscopic insects. Like, it's like, yeah, ah! there's so many, like, houses and structures in this city. Like, you don't know if somebody has been, has been hiding in their basements. You know, you never know. I think literal undead in their basement. <laughs> or aberrations. Literal skeletons in their closet. Yeah. Or, you know, fey, as in, like, uh, the group of people uh, hunting a certain somebody that broke out of the fey wild. You know, you never know. <laughs> I mean, so... Do I, also I come broke up in, in this city alone, we you found don't. two tunnel oh, systems in someone's basement that leads to, <laughs> to altars yep. to a fucking snake god. In the last this campaign, in someone's basement, there was a portal to the Shadowfell. Mm. Gosh, what and the fuck's in your basement? <laughs> I don't have Wait, wasn't, wasn't there a, a phylactery in someone's basement? No, no. That was where Patricia came from! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We had basement. to knock a wall down, but there was a phylactery <laughs> yeah. at the bottom of a well in someone's basement. No, that's one of my favorite fucking NPC ever got conceptualized. Patricia? Yeah. Patricia. Nobody. <laughs> 
Everybody, right. Nobody's so, brilliant. So, do you guys end off the night going to bed, dragging Jax along? Are you going? Yeah. Where are you going? I guess we're just gonna camp if Jax is fucking KO. Yeah, I was gonna say, why don't we just okay. camp here? Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. 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 Uh, we have a fire and everything. We go to bed. Mm -hmm. I would like to take the letter that I got, mm -hmm. and I want to cross out the initials okay. that it's from, and put my own. Okay. And cross All out the name. initials. Yeah. Cross <laughs> out the name on the front, and then put Davian on it. Wait, what? Or it's gonna, you can still tell there's initials crossed out and then yeah. new ones written. Like... Uh, okay, so you just hand Davian this this letter? I'm not handing him the letter, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. You're so just wait, changing wait. the addressee to Davian yeah. and, and changing just the change from Davian. to him. Yeah. So now it says to Davian from a Lazarin, but it's yeah, obvious yeah. that other names were crossed out. Yeah. But prior to that, it said what? It said to a Lazarin from... Uh, the letter C or something like that. Uh, it'd be A-V-V-D. Oh, oh, darn it. I was so wrong. Avd. <laughs> something Vinod Dunbar. <laughs> There's something that nobody Alex. really knows about. <laughs> no, no one knows about this letter. AVVD. Oh, yeah. His dad, I guess. <gasps> wait, no, wait, no. I do know about this letter because... Well, uh... you, you know about the letter out of character. In yeah. character yeah, 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 yeah. I, was, yeah, I, I just remember... Yeah, because you did the whole, like, you yeah. rang your dad and I was like, yeah. what could show me? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, tell me everything. Tell yeah. me everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did yeah, you put your name uh, on the Goblet of Fire? <laughs> you know, that is tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Um. We're long I'm resting gonna... now. I, I need to piss, so I'm gonna just. Just took a break, <laughs> man. Yeah, man. What the fuck? I okay. drank a lot. Fuck off. <laughs> all right, so you all uh, go to your respective beds, yeah. long rests. That's... I'm gonna That's... hang out for like four hours and then I'll disappear for four hours. Davian has like the best night's sleep ever because he drank the mocha mm -hmm. drink. At some point in Dream the night, I assume, sleep. I don't know if we're taking watches or whatever. I assume we probably would be. I'll take, yeah, I'll take, take I'll take a watch. I Tess will... is staying up for like the first two hours and then she will disappear and then she will yeah, come back. Yeah, at some point, hours. some guards will come through and like, you guys are right. Yeah, just we... enjoying the night. Yeah. <laughs> You're planning on sleeping here, judging by your uh, blue friend? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, you don't make any noise, all right? We won't. Um, we at, <laughs> at some point during my watch, I will uh, place the letter sort of in either in Davian's bag or sort of on his person so he, you know, he can notice it. And I would like to try and wake up early as well to leave the group before anyone else wakes up, even if that's... Not before Kess, but... Yeah, I'm assuming will Kess will be up. awake, but will she be out of the yeah. vessel when yes. Lazarin gets his eight hours in? Oh. Yeah. So you all wake up the next day. Um, Lazarin wakes up. Sun is just beginning to rise, and you already see Kess kind of like, you know, fucking about being awake, just chilling. While the rest still sleeps. I will just sort of sub ignore and just start walking off. Hi, Lazarin. See, I've got some stuff to do at the temple. Um, yeah, I can't believe you're just going to ignore me. Fucking uh, rude. Just thought you'd be in your own little world. Didn't want to disrupt you. you. I'm so insulted. You have made Good. this so much worse than it was when you were just ignoring me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. See you in a bit. Piece of shit. <laughs> and I am just at that fucking... That district, early doors, and I'm just sitting and waiting. Well, I don't was, care. There time, was the time specified, right? I'm pretty it was sure. 2 p.m. 2 p.m. So you're just uh, <laughs> six hours early. Yep. Just in the area. Yeah, just okay. um, basically casing the joint a little bit. Just being like, okay. where's the fucking... Uh, there, you know, you, you, you'll be casing it. Um, yeah. Since you're so early, make a perception check. Uh, perception. Oh, it's not going to be 18. 18? Uh, you walk around and kind of case the joint, and you see that all the like big guild halls, like you can see the, the Aracocras that run the uh, cartography guild across the street are just getting in and then setting up. And you can see that every, all the like these bigger guild halls, basically guild halls that are too big to fit in the crafts union or yeah. that aren't technically a craft, either or will apply here. Yeah. 
kind of have their own little district uh, just mm. north of northeast of the um, north northeast of the docks um <clears throat> and they're all slowly getting ready you notice that there is a, a, a dwarven individual a ginger-haired dwarf uh, opening up the doors to the Prospector's Guild uh, that you're supposed to be at. Um, question. Answer. What, how old was Eladrin when he got, you know... Oh, let me look at my notes. Given to the church? It was, it was... And even if, uh, if in his time, being part of the church, has he spent time at home with dad and his spent business? A bit, and... He time. Like, he would have gone... Thing. Uh, he would have. Uh, would have. What? Well, yeah, would have probably since like, like ten to right. years old. Probably part of like at least that's like you know sort of school age, school like like not like young young school age. That's slightly like, a little bit Elijah older. Now like, again, he's twenty four currently. Yeah. So Elasmus was born on the continent, correct? Born on the continent, yeah. yeah born on the continent. Good to, he... know, good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah. Born on the continent, he then probably obviously just did like regular sort of schooling. And then it's like, hey, we got this cool new school for you to go to church. Okay, that's good to know. Then uh, yeah, and then he would know. he would have spent some time around home as well. Like every now and again, like you know, summer break, you know, not Christmas, yeah, yeah. you know, what I mean, winter break, <laughs> festivals, yeah. winter's veil, vale. so. yeah, winter's veil, vale. um, harvest okay. festival. Good to know. Good to know. Um, at some point, you do see some people approaching the prospectors guild. One individual uh slightly lean looking in 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 figure uh dressed in like a robe and a hood up uh being escorted by two pretty broad looking dwarves and they they all three of them enter the establishment and knock them out um i just still wait around still waiting for the time in the meantime the rest of you guys you wake up and notice that lasman is gone Davin, you notice that there's a uh <clears throat> note slips in your on your person like just in one of your pockets you kind of notice it okay 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 i mean i'll open it up i'll give it a read uh when you want to read it out quiver since uh oh fuck i don't fucking remember exactly what it said because i just wrote down <laughs> notes i'll be i'll be real well, <laughs> and give, give us the, the tldr well the tldr is just uh i think it's like meet me at or just meet at uh, is over or under mining over guild? Under, yeah. yeah, over under oh, mining right. guild on the tenth of whatever the fucking month's name is. Septimon. Two p.m. Septimon. Septimon. Two p.m. Is now. You can definitely tell that there's like a name and initials crossed out, and then it's been readdressed yeah. to you. <clears throat> what did you say? Two p.m. Yeah. Two p.m. Mm. Yeah. Um, you can see on the bottom it says EJVD. Right, 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 right. It's fucking with my passwords, right? So the rest of you, you're all awake. Um, notice that Elazrin's gone. Uh, but other than that, everyone wakes up having a long rested. Davian had the best night's sleep he's ever had. Like that mocha stuff, dude. Whew, uh, that did the job. God bless. You God feel bless. Like, a, like little like aches and pains you still had from just a rough fight and, and some rough... A yeah. couple of months, really, and deaths yeah. seem to have kind of been, Long couple uh, months. Been, been relieved a bit. Like you feel a little more unusually good nights of sleep for roughing it, but also kind of where Davy's most comfortable anyway. So I guess it still kind of checks out, you know. I guess so, yeah. Like on a bedroll, you just feel rather more than rested and and physically well than you've felt in a couple of months at least. Nice. I guess uh, as everyone else is sort of waking up, I just where the fuck's the cleric? I was I was just about to say the same thing. Does anyone see where he went? I mean, it's pretty early. He left really early this morning. So mm. he's not been murdered. That's good at no. least. He tried to ignore me. I don't like blame an him. Asshole. But other than that, it didn't seem weird. Failed. The poor man. Did he say where he was going? Nope. Did he did say he... anything? No. He didn't. Oh, so he did ignore you. you. Well, he said he was just going out for a bit okay. and didn't want to disturb me. 
But that was basically it. I was too busy being insulted that he tried to ignore my very existence, okay? I'm sure he'll fucking... Yeah, I'm uh, sure I mean, he'll show he's, up. He's a fucking idiot, because he shouldn't really be going off on his own, but... Eh, not fucking... True. If he's not back by the end of the day, we'll start looking for him. Nightwebs, shitewebs. And if he's not right? back in three days, we assume he's dead and move on. Yeah. If he's not back in three days, I'll go see Father Ackle. Mm. I mean, I assume we go see Father Ackle as part of going to find him if he's not back by the end of the day. Okay, yeah. Fair. Uh, don't suppose you have any plans for the day. No. Fuck all. I might see if uh, Celeste wants to go see Quirky. That sounds like a very fun time for the two of for you. For the cartographer, you know, things. If they have any star charts, anything about the fucking, you know, constellation that's going around. Just, you should, you, know. you should take her to the carafe for lunch after. Hmm. In fact, while you go find her, I will go and put in a reservation for you at the craft. <laughs> well, I've got... I've sort of got plans around the middle of the day, so unless unless it would be for dinner, you know... It'd be... You want me to put dinner reservations in for you and Celeste? I'm going to put dinner uh... reservations in for you and Celeste. Yeah, all right. I'm coming with you. What, for dinner? No. You're going with the two of them for dinner? I was no. Say, that might be a bit awkward. I met Brooks. You know, I'm open to anything. Oh, sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and I said, I guess I'm coming too, because then, unless I want to intentionally ruin Davian's date, but that seems like a dick move. Mm. Yeah. Brooks understood that word? Ma'am. Yeah, you, you just I, see dick I, in the I, middle. I'm so dick. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, that allows me. It's really annoying to get in touch with people who aren't immediately <laughs> next oh, to you. You fuck. know what I mean? If it was here, what I could just like, hey, do? message. What's fucking? Or send Dad, in what are or you whatever. gonna do if we're fucking going? We or... send Jax to find the. Be tinkering, or, or I can just go to the tavern and or to the, the giant and have some drinks and just keep on tinkering, really. Shall Shall we, he's working do? on stuff during the day. He's building shit. Shall we? Well, okay, I'm gonna go to the craft. I'm gonna put in his renovations for Davian because I don't believe he has the balls to do it himself. Coward. And then should we go back? Never to... at any point did I say I wouldn't do it myself. But when someone offers to do it for me, why would I? Because then I know you've done it, and then I know it's happening, and I really want this to happen because it's very fun. Right. If 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 that gives you any peace of mind, feel free. And then. It's another thing I don't have to do today. I guess we come back to the giant and get breakfast. Yeah. I don't want breakfast at the giant. Well, you don't have to come with us, dickhead. You're I, going. I don't plan on it. You're going <laughs> after your star mommy, so. Probably not until <sighs> later this afternoon. So I really, I, I'm, I've not really got anything going on. I might go out, go to the magic. No, don't we need to go to the fucking? Hold on. We we no, can go to the council and There's ask no about. There's no point going without a Lazarin. Why? Because Elazarin's important. Ah, fucking. Is I he? guess we could. I signed I... a cast, but Elazarin's the contract guy. We're gonna want whatever they agree to in writing, so he should probably be there. Yeah, but don't they just have to like write it down? I think but we should. Wait he makes sure they write it down like properly, and that everything think... we ask for is actually in there. And all I that think. Shit. I mean, we said we'd take a couple of days to think about it, so I think we wait for Elazarin to do that. We could go and tell them that this is a condition we have and then give them time to figure out how they're going to do it. We are giving ourselves a lot of things to do if we're all traveling in basically one group. Man, give you guys a few days off and you're like scrambling like, oh, I don't know what to do with my time, guys. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I know what I want to do. I love throwing the cat amongst the pigeons touch. Just, I was like, I fucked off. I fucked up. Bye. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> yeah Elazarin <laughs> fucked everything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Oh, help. <laughs> I don't know if people are going to be laughing after your conversation going much. Just uh... <laughs> oh no, pain! It's going to be such pain. <laughs> pain and suffering. Do we want to travel as a a four and do everything at once? Because Davian's fucking off, I guess. We have Wait. all day, right? So why not? I'm gonna I'm gonna sign to Dagon. Uh, is there anything we need to tell His Excellence about? 
mean, I don't think so, right? Not really, because El the Trident deal, like, El Elsinal knows about it. And as long as she knows, I'm assuming they've probably been told or informed. Vera might have told them, like, that's not really on us, I don't think. Should we check? We can. We can check. We got time. Can we give us something to do? Yeah, sure. Pay him a visit. Okay. Yeah. So as you guys kind of just spend your day doing stuff, uh, I'm just going to go uh, grouping for grouping. Um, what's that been doing when, when he kind of separates himself from... Uh... No, I think... Uh, well, I was thinking, I'm on the fence. Do I do I go get breakfast with everyone? Because then if Celestia... Yeah, no, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go to the giant huh? for breakfast. Because that's where she's staying, right? Mm -hmm. So who's going to the Giants after you guys kind of leave the, 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 the beach? Everyone, I think. Yeah, everyone, I think we're all okay. starting the day together and then okay. split So as you all head to the Giants, uh, you can see that some of the workers there are also in the process of having some breakfast, waking up. You see Celestia at a, tab at a table with pleasure, just kind of like waving at you as you, uh, as you come in. <clears throat> Morning. Hi. Morning. You guys want to sit sit with us or? Absolutely. Yeah. Do you mind? No. Here to get some breakfast. Pleasure. Uh, we'll kind of get up. Let me uh, let me get that for you then. And she gonna dart into the kitchen. And you, just, you hear some like yelling coming from the kitchen uh, between between Cav and and, and Pleasure. Um, make out what any of the yelling is. Something online is like, just fucking clean this shit! Like that. <laughs> and, yeah. Keep we it made clean. breakfast! Cav, <laughs> be nice, your favorite people are here. Cav will just, like, open the door. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you all doing today? Oh, uh, it's Celeste. Hello. Oh. Well. Actually, surprisingly good. Weirdly. Slept weirdly well, considering we camped out last night. Well, we I, I, give, I give him a look like, I do an arms cross and a look at like weirdly well, look disappointed. Well, yeah, probably because of a certain drink. Don't really I also kind of camped out last night. Oh yeah? Yeah, I spent the night on the roof. Why? I kind of was looking at the stars and I fell asleep. I think Brooks did that <laughs> After I scared him off to death. I was making some I... notes. I was doing my research. I had my little, my little, my little, my little telescope with me, and I just kind of fell asleep. I mean, it's fairly flat up there. You could probably. Put it wasn't some as bad as I thought it would be, to be honest. Like, I, I feel a little, you know. But it's still weird to me that the stars change. I haven't gotten used to that. Well, yeah, but that's because. Well, they don't really change. Like, what? What? Do you mean more that there's a, a day-night cycle? Well, yeah, but also, like, oh. I just imagine that night was just the same all the time. Well, the majority of the stars are the same. It's just that one group that I'm following doesn't stay the same. But over overall, the stars we look at every night, it's the same stars. Like, every single night? Yeah. It's just exactly the same image? Yeah, I pretty much. So. Sometimes a little more clear, sometimes a little less so, depending on, you know, clouds and, and whatnot. But Actually, now you mention we... it, Kess, what does the night sky look like? And is there a night sky in the Feywild? No! No, it's the same all the time. It's the we... same. There is no night in the Feywild. I actually paid attention for once, and I'm mildly proud of that. Yeah, you got me this really cool lamp. It's great. It doesn't change. I wonder what the night sky looks like in the plane of, of twilight, right? I'm pretty, or dusk. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it's yeah. constantly on that sort of. You said like sunset y. Yeah. It could be sunrise or sunset. It kind of, you, know, you don't even yeah, know. It's know. just some sort of. Which is why it's kind of like orangey and pinky and the same. Which is why does she's. Does that mean so that there is. I don't like the dark. Yeah, I there don't is like. The dark. like does that mean there is a sun? Or is that like there's no sun? That's just kind of what the sky's like. There's a sun, it's just kind of always in the same place. It doesn't really move. It's just Fascinating. Mm. I think I prefer well, our on ways the... of nights, though. Well, yeah, I think the day I night cycle does good. I don't like it. That's just I... because you're not used to it. 
Yeah. It's like living somewhere where the, ne the weather never changes. It's like, oh, it's just kind of, the, you know? Mm -hmm. Seasons. I mean, I assume there's not Change seasons the in the Feywild either. Yeah, it depends yeah. where you are. There's seasons? Sounds a bit monotonous, doesn't it? It depends where you are. Especially considering how long elves live, like out there. Yeah, I'm still I'm still pretty young by elf same. standards. I know someone who's like a thousand. It's kind of crazy. Is it your mom? <laughs> your mom? No. <laughs> no. So, uh, um, on... what are you up to today? I was just about to say on, on the on the subjects of stars and everything. I I know I know of a a, a map maker who might have some knowledge of star charts or something. I'd hope so. I feel like that's pretty important when it comes to making maps. Maybe. Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, it's called Quirky. There's uh, the Cartographer's Guild in the city. So uh, we could probably drop by later this afternoon and have a little chit-chat on I'll be in that part of town. So, you know, if you want to come by. Yeah, of course. I'll uh, introduce you. Hopefully he doesn't know a thing or two. That's not like it could help, and if not, then at least, you know, teach me, teaches me a bit more about just map making in general, which is something that... Uh, yeah, um, um, yeah. if he doesn't have any direct knowledge, you might at least have tools or something that you, you might be able to to buy or lend or something. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, so that's it's, uh, pretty much all I have planned for today. Find a Lazarus. We don't know where a Lazarus went. Mm -hmm. but I'm Didn't sure come by here, I don't know. Yeah, well, is, that, well, is he missing or no? Kess saw him leave, okay. so it's not like he was taken. Well, he probably he just, just kind of has shit to do then, right? Well, yeah, yeah right. Fucked off, like a little... just out of anyone, you know, the last person that should really be striking out on his own is the Lazarin because he's well, not for any particular reason, just not very good at taking care of himself, I suppose. Even worse than me. <laughs> I have no idea what that means because I don't know you guys that well. So I'm just going to sit yeah. here and laugh. Well, uh, you saw Kess got turned to stone. That pretty much speaks That's true. I did see that. And that she jumped, and she jumped in the water itself. once and pretended to be eaten by a shark that was actually Kai. Yeah, no, you know what? It's okay. Yeah. That, yeah. that last one is actually kind of fair. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> but the first one is not. Yeah, the first one no we one all kind of got, got put in that position, right? Like, it, if not cast, somebody else probably got turned to stone. So, yeah. I mean, you died. I don't know. Sorry. If it was going to be anyone, I, I, put I my almost money died. On you died. Some of us, you know, like a lot of us, gotten put into places where we didn't really want to be, right? Yeah, at least yeah. I didn't fucking die. Hey, well, I mean, being stone Are you really alive? really is mechanically Look, equivalent to death. Five days or something that you were just inanimate. It was very yeah. quiet. But um. Yeah, I'll Peaceful. be. Uh, I'll, I'll. I'll make my way to, to. Where is it? This cartographer's guild. Do you have any idea? Still haven't gotten I that tour yet. Point her to where the cartographer's guild is, because I'm sure I know. Yeah, you've been there before, like you know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll uh, make my way down there in the afternoon. Uh, yeah. Let's say. I don't know how long I'm going to be in over or under, and I don't want to. I don't want to be like, oh, two thirty. Why don't you, why don't <laughs> you just, just do it? Why don't you just do it before? Because it's morning, and that's not till two in the afternoon. Like out of character advice. Like, why don't you just do it before, and then be like, I have to go somewhere like after lunch, but we can do it now. Go somewhere after lunch. And like, what are you going to do all morning? And then let me take you for dinner. Do, like I do in real life. Something important happening in the day. Can't do anything before that. Just have to sit there and anticipate it, and that's it. <laughs> that's literally me. It's too, it's too real. It's yeah. too real. It's like, what, what else am this I going to do? This is a fantasy game, Duke. You don't have to do that. Oh, you don't have to live like that. You know what, Celeste? Let's go out right now, and I'll give you the tour, <laughs> and then we can stop by Crocky afterwards, and I hook my arm through hers, and we skip out the door and go to town. <laughs> right. You don't have like to roleplay a character with anxiety. You know that, right? That's true. <laughs> I like to imagine just rough to see the wizard just playing, still in the background, <laughs> just see the little whistle. Yeah. 
Um, we haven't even had breakfast yet. We have. We were having that discussion while eating breakfast. Yeah, sure, sure. Oh, sure. Um, <laughs> sure. Okay, so that's them sure. Care of. Mr. DM says, having never brought out breakfast. Okay, <laughs> like I'm not, you're not gonna have to RP out every fucking bite you take or every shit you take. All right, man. Something's just gonna happen. What? <laughs> No. Well, if that was the case, then I've been rolling for no reason. Trouble because we haven't eaten <laughs> single shit yet. <laughs> like some things just kind of happen as you guys discuss other things, right? Um, Short and long rests incorporate piss and shit. So. Exactly. Um, it's just an hour of pissing. What are what are Brooks, Brooks Kess, and Dagen spending their day doing? Or like their their morning slash afternoon? And Jack. Uh, well, we'll probably well, go with. Be tinkering. Gonna be chilling. I would suggest to Cass we go with Brooks to make the reservation just to see it happen and make sure it happens and fun and then we'll be like, oh, we have a thing we're gonna go do and we'll go to the weeping mug. He can ourselves. come with. But then we can't but then what do we do about Jax? He can't come. He's staying Rex behind. Jax is coming here. enough to Rex do it. Oh, here. he's gonna stay behind it. He's gonna work there. Okay, then yeah, yeah, never mind. Then we can go do the reservation and then go to the weeping mug to yeah. talk to Oh Brooks, by the way. Hmm? Thanks for like uh, carrying me away from the big wave woman. Who told you that? Darian. I signed to her. Oh, it was so funny. I, I was going by, and at one point, your statue just started moving, and I thought somehow, while petrified, you were still just like willing yourself out of there, <laughs> and it was really freaking cool. Then I realized it was just Brooks, and he was invisible. Ah. Uh. It would have been cool if you thought it was me the whole time. I did. Oh, 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 oh never mind. Obviously not. Like, but for like a good, a good like ten seconds, I thought that you had somehow powers while petrified. I or actually, what I thought, my magic. what I thought was, I picked up your vessel because I knew you wouldn't want anything to happen to it, and I thought oh. you were like following the vessel, like you were linked to it, and then I thought I was helping, and I wasn't. Like a dog on a leash. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Jack said to get out, and I figured that. Only yep. me or Jax would probably be able to carry you while still. I appreciate it. Yeah, it was it. weird because Jax said run because it was looking bad, but then like only we ran. Like it mm. did. I don't understand what yeah, happened Davian in that was moment. To be honest. It. Yeah, I because mean... he he clearly didn't hear the instructions. It was oh very confusing. Oh my god! Since when was Jax the leader and why? Jax was man complaining about Jax was complaining about what? The strategic mastermind that is suddenly everyone is beholden to everything that comes out of his mouth in a situation where under zero, duress that he himself doesn't even follow. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's because by the time he, because he said it, and then he saw those of us struggling to do it, was like, oh, well, I'm not going to be able to do it, and then changed plans. But at one point, the plan was run. Anyways, here's all. I appreciate I mean, you no, picking me up anyway. I, just, I, mean, I, I know, knew it was going to go there. I know you would probably me, uh, to stay uh, behind uh, and punch uh, a god stop, in the face. Stop, 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 stop. Oh. Just, I'm just going to gently put my hand to the top of Ked's, uh, Kess's forehead. What? Do you feel what? any warmer than she normally does? <laughs> no! Oh, you're ill because you're being nice. <laughs> so, you, so you don't have a fever then? So no. What do you want? I'm just being nice. <laughs> Why? This is the first time I've ever known you. I, I just write down to Brooks. Thanks it's called personal growth. She's learning. And I write it on the journal. <laughs> Because I went through something really traumatic, and it was good to know that at least you guys didn't just give up. I mean, I, I figured that Which is what I anticipated. If, I figured that if we couldn't turn you back, you'd make like a, a nice like statue with some vines at the side of you in like a beer garden or something. Sure. At one point, I drew a mustache on you, and clearly it didn't stick because you don't have a mustache now, so that's good. <laughs> what did you draw it with? Oh, uh, well, I didn't have anything to hand at the time, and you're about to go into the vessel, so I kind of used my blood. It was right after the battle. Like, I was still bleeding a lot. So, I just, it was there. That's kind of weird. I mean, it's funny, but, like... You're telling you're... me if I became a statue, you wouldn't doodle on me? Come on. It's, it's... Yeah, but not with blood. Well, the, the, the genie man <laughs> was about to take you away. I didn't have much time, and I can't really oh. tell him to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I got about two words of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Why but you did hear Chris go, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, just go, are you okay? <laughs> and then... And then just, yeah. <laughs> um, all right. I just mime the drawing of a mustache to Brooks. Oh, it's okay. Did she hit a head? I don't think I nod, yes. So. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Any, no, no, no. Anyway, no, I have a bone to pick with you. Oh, no. Me? Because I forgot about this because you returned to stone and they're bigger for her. You fucking charmed me. Oh, yeah. What yeah, do you mean, you oh, that. yeah? Well, I was getting rid of another charm effect, I think. Because one takes over the other, I guess? Is that how magic works? Yeah, That's that, what did, I was that didn't work. I still wanted to murder everyone. Yeah, but you didn't want to murder me. <laughs> so it worked a little bit. I fucking... No, I, I mean, I, I'm, none of us got murdered, so logically, it worked. Yeah. It's time to guess. <laughs> it did work. Just not for everyone else thing, just But I assume me. that it's wrong. Why? Would you rather I left you a murderous asshole that wanted to kill his friends? Including me? Glad that wore off. That would have been real difficult otherwise. Mm. You're gonna have to keep translating for me because I assume Daigon doesn't <laughs> want to have to write everything. And my I'll signing isn't it. that good yet. I keep forgetting. I... Yeah, that probably wouldn't have been fun. So you're welcome. Shut up. <laughs> I could do it again. I learned some... I mean, daigon has been fairly... When we've had Tygen, Daigon has been... Yeah. I show Kess the list of words that I keep track of that what Brooks knows in sign language. Do you actually have it written down? Because I do. Do yep. you want me to send it to Kess? No, I have it written down. Yeah, yeah, right here. Okay. I'm glad that at least you guys were still getting along, even though I was a rock. Of course, we were getting along. Anything better than you. <laughs> uh, you? You are aware. <laughs> you are aware. You're not like the the central point of every friendship within the group. Of course, I am. Who else would be? Um, Daigon and I would be friends whether you were here or not. Like I would probably be fairly upset if you weren't here, but. Or if I died. And... Yeah, but me and Daigon would. Yeah, wouldn't, I know that. Wouldn't, wouldn't we? Well, technically, no, because at the beginning I couldn't talk to anyone, and I was only hanging around because she was here, and she could talk to you. So, like, technically, without Cass, probably not. If you're talking about in terms of compatibility, sure, but... Does okay, Cass relay all no. of that? Does Cass relay all of that? Yes. <laughs> I meant if Cass had died as, as Stone, we would still, like, oh, we'd still be friends, right? I thought you meant, like, back beginning if Kessa never did okay it, yes a nod if yes I, there's lots of complicated signing and then nodding yes <laughs> if i had never left the fey wild you guys would never have met so you mm -hmm. i would be much happier no you wouldn't rude you would in this moment in this miserable. moment i signed a, i signed a cast we should teach him the sign for rude and then we can just call him out he's being rude and teach you call the sign language for the word rude i can't i can't actually that's easier <clears throat> Yeah, when he's I like, mean, oh, my life be better if I hadn't met you, I just signed the word dick. I signed the word hole. <laughs> okay. Um, eventually, you guys uh, go out your day. Uh, everybody kind of has some stuff to do. Um, you see. can do a Lazarin and but first before well, a Lazarin and Davian wise, before we think Time mom. wise, Davian would be spending the morning giving Celeste a bit of a tour of. Um, it's the quirky of the city, and then go towards the uh, the cartographers guild. Uh, Elazarin, you see them as they kind of walk walk on the square and then enter the cartography guild. If Davian notices me, because I'm not hiding, I am just sort of sitting out. Mm -hmm. I'll try and sort of not avert his gaze, but sort of give him also like you know the the bro nod and sort of like. And then what's your perception down here? Like, be high, right? Uh, sixteen. I yeah, you, you, you see a Lazarin just sitting like not straight across from the Prospectors Guild, but very close by, just waiting. He kind of gives you the. Does Celeste notice him? I don't think her passive perception is that great, so probably not. Um, oh, quite good because it's based on wisdom. Yeah, yeah but she's busy focusing all of her attention onto Davian. 
true. Of course. Who would? <laughs> Anyone else? Old. <laughs> he's kind of a hunk, so. I think he's dick. Oh, ha! <laughs> Never mind. Uh, it's, yes, she does. Uh, best of just like 19. Like, 19, yeah. She has a very high passive yeah, perception. It, it, if if she like obviously notices him, I'll I'll wave and be like, oh, there you are. We're wondering where you got off to. I sort of like it just looked down like, I just went for a walk. Sorry, I had to clear my head and help out the temple. I told Father Aqua to help in the morning, so I went up to the temple first and. Right, right. Yeah. Well, um, we'll stay out of your hair, but uh, still on for lunch. Yes. Yes. Right, and then I'll just <laughs> lead Celeste. Celeste so just kind of stands there. Cartographer's guild. I'm gonna go look at a, a, a man about a map. Yes. Oh, lovely. hopefully some stars. Oh, quirky. Yeah. Yeah. Not met him myself, but no, do I think I can't remember if I went to cartographer's guild or not? Fuck it, I say I've not met him. <laughs> I don't think so. I can't. Uh, I, don't think... I feel like I one person did go with me, but I, I don't Jackson. remember who. No, actually, maybe yeah. just Avian, actually. Yeah. But Demon's definitely talked about him because it was yeah. fucking. He was there yeah. for like um, four days. I was not there for four days, but I was. Like I was learning. A, I was learning a craft. All right. Yeah. All right. So you guys uh, enter Cartographer's Guild, and Quirky is there. I completely forgot what voice I gave him. I'll be honest, but you know, it's gonna fucking wing it. Probably a quirky one. Get it? Wait, Wait winging it because it's an Arcocra. Winging it. <laughs> oh, Wait. Oh, oh, oh. Um. And Quirky, the older Aracocra, uh, you know, Cornish. slightly, uh, slightly like yellowed, yellowed, but uh, also like actually shine off his beak, not as as uh, present anymore. Tiny Cornish spectacles. Cornish is like the typical pirate sounding accent, right? So that probably kind of makes sense. Huh? A Cornish, a Cornish accent. No idea. I, I, yeah. Oh, war. What you are, my love? Davian, it's good to see you again. Pirates. Yeah, it's uh, good to be back. Um, this is uh, Celesti. Nice to meet you. And um, Celesti has a certain fascination with the stars. And I was wondering if, uh, given your line of work, you or someone you might know, uh, particularly um, vested in star charts or anything I've, like that? I've, I've obviously, uh, my line of work is, 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 is more based on land maps, but... I've dabbled, Pop perhaps, um, here and there to, to see if I could branch out, but then I realized that that was way too complicated, and just cartography as a whole was uh, complicated enough for me as it is. I've kind of let that sit, but uh, I may have some resources for her to, to take a look at. If uh, I maybe. suppose you have any astrographers in your address book? Um, well, yeah, perhaps. Um... Not necessarily as, 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 as astronomers or astrographers or whatever the fuck. I but, just made um, that up. I don't know if that make, I don't uh, know if that's real. Is, uh, have you met Alivara by chance? Lives in a big tower, uh, due west. Is that the guy we did that? It with rings the robots a bell. Is it the guy attacking? we saved from the robots? Yeah. 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 Uh, actually, yeah. Weirdly, weirdly enough, I have. Yeah. He um. Spent some time, uh, you didn't necessarily write some books, but he did some studies on, on the stars. And uh, I've got a, a few copies of his work here if uh, if you want, uh, if, she, if, if, if she wants to have a look. So it's mainly about, um, you know, the origin, where do stars come from, what do they mean, and, and their, their connection to the more, um, the more uh, magical, arcane side of our world. How recent are these works? Uh, a decade or two old, maybe. Hmm. So let's see. I don't suppose you know how old the particular sort of constellation um, you're interested in is. Well, according to my uh, research and, and the people I spoke about, I've only noticed it. Um, I don't know. Like when I started noticing it, it's probably already been a thing, but nobody really paid attention to it. But I must. When mm. I notice it. Um, it was very well possible that it was already doing its thing 10, 20 years ago, so I, I could be could be useful. Well, we'll have to see then. I'll, yeah, well, we, I'm sure we'd love to see uh, any any works you might have on on the night skies as 
is bound to be helpful, I suppose. Uh, yeah, and he goes to uh, a bookcase behind like this, his little desk and takes out a small, uh, not very thick, just a very, I don't know, like, like 30, 40 pages or so, uh, if you had to hazard a guess, of um, uh, a, 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 like a, it's like a paper. It's not a book. It's more of like, yeah. a, like, a, like a research paper um, called The True Meaning of the Stars. And then written by uh, is there a uh contents table uh yeah there is uh has a chapter like it goes from top to bottom chapter list goes um the 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 the, the origin of stars um rather than having you rip a whole contents page is there anything that stands out about a moving constellation yeah, yeah, like, or the moving origins, constellations or the origin but it also goes about constellations and there is a chapter that is named something along the lines of um uh relocating stars is what it's called okay i will uh i'll point that out to celeste and hand her the her eyes like like start to <laughs> almost glow and she almost like snags it out because because of her excitement and immediately goes to those pages and does anyone she... remember where alivara was was he far from eldalon was he he wasn't in eldalon was he no, no, Wasn't no. He want to call uh, up? Uh, Alivara Tower is uh, northeast of Strathmore. That's a bitch. That's a real bitch. Because that's where the three sisters had their magic shop, and that's how you got onto yeah. helping them. Because Alivara went missing. Um, she looks at it, and and you can see as she kind of looks at. There's a bunch of like drawings of stars, and she looks at one and kind of just turns the page to you, uh, Davian. You can see that the constellation that, that that she pointed out to you and that she's been following is also drawn there, uh, and clearly <clears throat> documented by Halivara as well about the fact that that constellation in particular has been moving around. Is there anything written, or like what's what's written about it? Anything? There's just some like kind of like like out. like cliff notes kind of things. There's not no real like mm -hmm. chatter. Just just the the overall more just an observation, but nothing, yeah. no actual knowledge. Yeah, the only thing is like it it does kind of describe that same path that Celestia has also described uh, that it takes, um, and. There's one thing that he kind of wrote down on it, it was just Gith question mark. Oh <laughs> That's big. That's huge. <laughs> That's huge. That's huge. Um It seems to me you well, noticed the same thing. Just uh I mean Quirky, I I can't thank you enough for this. First of all, you've it's already, my pleasure. You know, uh, feel free to take it with you if you want. Uh, I'm, a... not, I'm not really reading it, and I've I've got a couple of copies of this paper in the closet anyway. So if you want to just take that one with you, feel free. Do you have any tools or or devices that you might recommend for? I don't know, observing the stars any more closely than? Um. Well, I know Celestia has a telescope. I have a. Uh... Yeah, how big is that telescope? And, and Celestial kind of, eh, it's, it's quite large. It's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a hassle to kind of take with me, but... Uh, and, well, how about this? And, and he kind of whips out a small little case, and it's like this, like, foldable telescope type thing that... that uh, it's enchanted, like in, in a way. A collapsible spyglass sort of thing. It's enchanted to make it, to, to, to be able to be made much smaller than it is, so... It, could potentially be useful and then when he opens the case he takes out the small little like cylinder and then he then he pushes a button and puts it kind of like on the floor and just this entire like tripod like tripod with big telescope which pops out of it yeah you just fold it back in you just push this button and then small little cylinder. now um i wouldn't want to you know i wouldn't want to take something so remarkable away from you but I mean, could we maybe uh, figure out some sort of agreement where Celestia might be able to borrow it from time to time? Um, 
Yeah. I think she'll be staying in the city for a, a little while, and I just figured if, if you, you know. Um, that would be fine. Um, like I, I don't, I don't really use it, and uh, as long as as long as you promise to take care of it well, and uh, you know, if if need, if if I suddenly have a need for it, to, that I can get it back, then that's fine for me. That's very generous of you, Quirky. Very generous of you. Uh, don't uh, worry about it too much. Uh, and of course, if you learn anything interesting. Been, anyway. Oh, it's been all right. We, um, no, but it's on a down low, but uh, mm. there's plans of uh, expansion going on. Um, the Empire would like to see if we can traverse uh, east uh, into. Um, into 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 Python, which is uh, the, the, the side quest <laughs> to the province of Python. Um, there's a lot of of, of 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 quarrel there between uh, folks that have already lived there. But uh, the, the Empire is planning to expand, and with that, obviously comes you know they need people to chart the place. So I've, I'm I'm getting my my people ready to. Um, to, to aid in that when the when the call comes, but so uh, I don't suppose uh, you yourself will be out there talons on the ground, or maybe you're no, getting a little too rough. Just, over I, and I've had my that. time, but uh, but obviously my niece, who's uh, second in line to take over, I don't know if you've met, but she's she's running around and she um, is uh, going to be uh, taking my place as leader of this guild sooner rather than later. So she's getting ready to um, go on that ship herself with uh, a handful of other cartographers to be. So that's going to be good for business, for sure. Well, you know, stay stay safe out there, of course. And, obviously, uh, like, we only go once the Empire tells us it's safe to go, obviously, but uh, the, given that my niece is also, you know, Arakokra, of course, it gives her a, a bird's eye view, I suppose, and it's a bit safer for her to chart the initial lay of the land before, you know, people on foot go in, so she she's getting ready to, to leave in a few weeks. In a few weeks. Mm -hmm. Just to give them initial, an initial lay of the land of the first, you know, the, the first part of, the, of that province. So they know what they're getting into. In a few weeks, if mm -hmm. I'm around. And we could perhaps, you know, get you out there safely before the Empire is really, you know. How much would that be worth to you? If you, if you were the one who was making the maps to sell to the Empire in the first place. Uh, I, I mean, not you personally, but I'd be quite valuable, really. I would set up my niece and and the business uh, to be financially stable for for decades to come. If we've plus, you know, it's also just you know, we, we, I, I would being able to have my niece do what I did for the empire when we when we came to this place is uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's fulfillment. I suppose. Yeah, well, you know. It's, it's almost like I'm officially the passing over the torch to, to the next generation. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, we might be out of town for a little while, but if we have some free time, we could always use a little bit of extra money. So, if I do find myself in town within three weeks and we've got we've got the downtime, we might be able to yeah, pull I together mean, a little uh, little party. Uh, take if you take want, your niece uh, out. I'm sure I I could have. If not me, then my niece will have, have her, could, could use a little bit of protection in the form of, uh, you know, muscle, or or perhaps uh, I have to get it cleared by, by, by the Empire, though, to make sure that you'll have permission to uh, to just go about your business there. But Well, it was literally my job and up until uh, I came out to Eldalon, but then so? it was with... it. Well, yeah, it was with Febra, though, not strictly with the Empire, so maybe it's a different... I don't know, but as, oh, a, as a ranger, a that's exactly what we were doing in... Barbara's footing for... Okay, you know. I mean, yes, if you're around, I'll, uh, I'll see if I can look for you, and uh, pff, perhaps. All right, well, either Celestia's way, I'll, I'll, super, I'll be sure like, to stop just, by. It's like, while this conversation goes, Celestia's just, like, amazed at this this uh, telescope. It's constantly, like... <laughs> All right, well, um, on that, on that note, probably uh, get out of your feathers for a little while, but thank you again. And, no um, well, if, if there are any interesting advancements, we'll, I'll, I'll keep you in the loop because I, I think there could be some 
interesting things in the sky above us that no one really knows anything about just yet. I don't doubt it. Uh, is Celeste bringing the telescope? Or is she leaving it there? She's, like, take, she's taking it. Like, she got yeah, okay, to take okay. it. So she, she right. like, folds it in. It's like a small little cylinder, puts it in the case, pockets it. Um, like, Thank you again. Appreciate it. And I'll take good care of it. Fucking ding, ding, ding. Yeah. As open and shut the door. You don't mind if we just come and talk to a legend again quickly, do you? It might of be course. helpful. And now, it, I guess he hasn't moved. Mm, he may have, like, moved slightly, but he'd be still He's in the same twitched. square. <laughs> just, just, just trot, paste, probably trot back over. Elijah, do you remember Halivara? Um, yes, I remember him. With the robots but, and stuff. Familiar, the, yeah. Go, go Automaton, Automaton, Guardian, whatever. Well, whatever uh, things, they have different yeah. names, they get confused with the called names. Yeah. I don't suppose you're familiar enough to be able to message him, are you? I probably could. I know of him. He might not recognize it's me, but... Oh, that's you know, true. Enough. Well, he'll probably... What, he'll 25 probably, words yes. or something? I get a short sentence or two. Hmm. Why? What's the matter? Well, he happens to have quite literally written the book on this constellation that moves around in the sky. That's not and a book. It's more like, going... a, like a research paper. He researched right. the stars. Yeah. And, like an uh, essay. It's he, a sort uh... of phrase, though. He wrote the book on... Man. I suppose. I suppose. I suppose. Sorry. Sure. Hey, yeah. But... Just, uh, look. And she'll just, like, hand you the, the paper and point you to the chapter of, like, relocating constellations and then the drawing of the one that she pointed out to you all with, like, the, the gith question mark next to it. Now, this paper is probably a decade or so old at this point. I don't know if he's got, you know, if he's been doing any more research on it from his tower or whatever, but it might be worth just reaching out saying. I don't know. I'd have to I'd have to craft the perfect sentence to make sure it's concise. I mean, you could but always... Something along the lines of, oh, you know anything more about these moving stars? Eh? No, you could always you know? show interest in his research and to see how that's going. He could be a yeah. budding student. We'd like to know further. Yeah, um, like, oh, read research. the true meaning of the stars. Mm. Have been watching moving constellation. Any, Any further, further research? Yours, celestially. Celestial? Yeah, it doesn't really work, does it? No, because then when they turn up it's, and... If oh, Celestia turns up though. and starts talking and... I like yours celestially. Well, oh, come on. We're talking about stars, celestial bodies. No? No, I get the pun. No, no, I get... Right. That's not even really a pun, is it? It's but much. Yeah, sure. Um not what a pun is though. Not mm, not We're not getting into this. What's sorry, what's the no. point of in here? Sorry. <laughs> Can you Just, ask how it would be nice to reach out, see more. if he's got any updates, and if he has, if, if they're, if, you know, maybe he's published them, and maybe there'll be a way to get them, like a back, a bookshop or a library that isn't, you know, a hand me down from a cartographer that's twenty years old, ten years old, you know, because if he's had a better look, and he's written about it, I mean, already I don't really know what GIF is, but I'd love to know what that means. <laughs> I'm not sure either. I think a, maybe it's a misspelling of what gift. I don't know. Why would he publish that in this? This paper? is an immaculately worded research paper about stars. people still make mistakes in papers that they don't realize. He might be his own copy editor, so he doesn't um, realize he's regardless. Made a I, so I, I don't, I don't want to leave it at a chance. So if you have a way of reaching out, I would really appreciate it if you could just send him a message. I will cast sending. And just to uh, Polyvara, Polyvara, what the fuck his name is? Alivara. Alivara. Read the true meaning of stars. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> it's... No? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Gonna instantly waste the word. Hey. Sup? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. How, Laszlo how's here. Going? You know, um, 
Yeah. How's it going? Um, anyway, to the point. Up and out of words. Have read your research paper on the stars. Would like more information. If you have any, where can we find more? Is that? A... Do we have more? Uh, the last one sending. Okay. Hello. Not sure who you are, but check local bookshop. Oh, fuck. I hate sending. Um, he... Fucking hate it. <laughs> uh, he says to check local bookshops. Um, Great. It seems as though he... D wasn't too sure about it. Apprehensive. I think it's probably his life's work. And he doesn't take All right. To well, fine. I forget. There's, there isn't a library in Elder One, is there? It's a bookshop. No library, no. Just a bookshop. Check the local. All right. Well, we'll go to a bookshop and we'll find out what the fuck a gif is. Mm-hmm. And anything by Halivara Malivara. What's his last name? <laughs> there you don't know. Just Halivara. We might even use a, use a pen name. So, just Harry. What time? What time is it? Uh, yeah, soon. But um, wait, what do you mean? In the game or out of game? Was this? No. What? No. What time is it in the game right oh, now? Okay. Uh... Having left. You spent the morning kind of like showing Celestia around. Like it's about yeah, time yeah, yeah. for for a Lazarin's uh, meeting. Yeah. Mm, okay. I will uh, lead Celestia to the bookshop, mm -hmm. and just you know, with sort of a here's the bookshop. I'm gonna go get lunch. So see you later. Bye. All right. And uh, I will head over to. Uh... Okay. Uh, Lazarus. Over or. You wait for. Uh, under. Davian to get back, and uh, it's about time for you to, to head in. Uh, just before like we step in, I will say to Davian, you're here more as witness than anything else. You're not about to get stabbed, are you? <laughs> well, no, but. I just, sh I just like about... move my cloak to flash that fucking yeah. badass cutlass uh, that I got. Uh, I'm about to find a lot of information. Right. So if it's also note take for me, before I be yeah, sure. All right. Yeah. Right. But okay. Just know what happens here. Don't divulge to the group until you've asked me. All right. Whoa! Secret secrets are no fun. No. No. I, I understand. I understand. No, head in. You head in, and uh, you look around. And you can see a bunch of people, mo mostly dwarves, carrying boxes of ores and minerals and whatnot around. Um, and there's a there's a desk in the center, and behind it stands a dwarven man, uh, a little older, uh, ginger braided hair and like a twin braided beard with like runic, kind of like Norse runic tattoos under his eyes. Oh yeah. Uh, Wearing emerald colored overalls with stitching of a minecart on it. My goodness! You're the spitting image of your dad! As he as he looks at you, uh, Lazarin. I recognize uh, Vidor Dunbar walking into my place of, of work any day of the week. Do you? Yes, me and your, uh, your dad have uh, worked together on, uh, on times. Uh, this. this Guild that is now started as a small uh, prospecting service in the kingdoms, and your dad was a, a recurring client of mine. Sounds that right for him? Is he um, present? Um, yeah, you do have a visitor. I was told about your, uh, you know, your arrival. Of course, um, they're in my office. Feel free to uh, head in. Uh, keys on the inside if you want to lock it for privacy reasons. Um, just, you know, 
let me know uh, you know come out when you're uh, when you're all done take all your time you need we'll do and as i sort of walk past i will take a gold out and put it on the desk for him see so he, he nods I um, as you enter the office uh you're met by a familiar face wearing elegant robes your family crest on the chest, uh, long brown hair and a slightly pale skin, bright emerald eyes. You're looking at your sister. And that's where we'll end it this week. Oh! What the fuck? <laughs> Laura has to go, so uh, we're gonna yeah, end I'm it sorry. here. I'm sorry. And, uh, it's the other one. It's the other one. Also, this is, this is now two sessions where I'm like, I have new character dice, excited to roll, and I haven't had to roll any roll dice right for two know, whole right? sessions. <laughs> just force right. some fucking like, BS checks, dude. Um, um, just sit and write some yeah, fucking So note. I know that uh, some of you are also going to go to to the fucking mug, so just write down what you guys want to do with your day so that we don't Yeah, I wrote down that we want to go visit. And we'll pick it up next week from uh, Lazarin having a conversation with the old, the old sister. The old C store. Mm. Mm, oh, why did I pick such a fucking bad, like, weird name for her? God damn it. Yeah, fucking. Wait, hold on, I have it here. Fucking. Liaria? Um, yeah, some shit like that. Um, thank you Liaria. Liaria. Yeah, Loyaria. 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 Yeah. What the L fuck? Yeah, she's L -O -Y the uh, barrister of the family. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate you. Uh, mm. uh, the Divinity tomorrow? Question mark? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. So Divinity tomorrow will be here on Thursday with some uh, discourse. Uh, any takers? Anyone that wants to be on Discourse this week, perchance? Uh, well, like next Discord. week's gonna be. I, my... Well, Ethan, Ethan, you said you're doing your Animal Crossing stream, and I'm doing the stream with Bowdy on Thursday. So I that's mean, us I, out. I, I can do it morning if Dutch wants me on Discourse. Yeah. It depends. Well, I'm, I'm a for sure. I can't do it. So. Ah, uh, we'll talk about it then. We'll see. We'll see. And if the, if All people right. are busy because of charity streams or incentives, we can also just say like. I think me and Corey did the last one, right? Yeah. So yeah. We, there yeah, might not I'm be a Discourse out. this week. We'll see. Who knows? Um. Thanks for watching. Appreciate yous. And uh, we'll catch you uh, next week for more uh, Dungeon Slay. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye now. Du -du -du -dum. Bom, bom, bom. You gone? Bom, bom, bom. Bom, bom, bom. Du -du 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 -dum. And it's now slowly, like, fade out. It's just like... <laughs>